Hi, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another fantastically scary, spooky, scary skeleton clown thing, graveyard keeper, whatever thing we got. How's everybody doing? I'm doing okay. It's great. We've got some questions. Oh, I see something in chat. Weird question. How does one feel about those bottles that can hold two separate fluids in them, like two-in-one olive oil and vinegar, fellas, which store both long-term, or the assassin's teapot, which holds two and can make a third drink by serving both at once? Is the smaller amounts of either fluid worth the gimmick? I feel like... I feel like aside from the whole, like, splendor of being able to do so, I feel like there's gotta be some, some benefit to that. Like, if we're talking, if they can do that for, like, less, like, viscous liquids, I could totally imagine doing, like, a, like, a, like, a ketchup and mustard type thing, or, like, combining them both together. I don't know. Maybe some people are totally into that. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. No, we won't see. I don't think they've got any of that in this game. I know what? This is Graveyard Keeper time. We last left off attempting to make some money. And I don't know what better way to make money than to put ourselves in harm's way. I'm going to try to get to the bottom of the dungeon today. I don't have, I have no idea how much time that is going to take. No idea. So it may not be at the end of the day. But the goal is to start ourselves off with a little bit of dungeon mayhem. Dungeon mayhem. And I don't mean the board game. That is, I believe, manufactured by uh, Wizard, Wizards of the Coast, I think. Uh, I think they do that now. I don't really know. In any case, let's boogie. Shall we boogie? I believe we shall. Oh, and I was also trying to make money by selling these carts. Oh, do I have to, like... Oh, could, do I have to put them into the elevator? Oh... Oh, uh, I didn't notice until now that apparently I have to actually bring these crates over to the elevator. Interesting. I didn't realize that at all. I guess, can I take them upstairs? I totally can. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I could do that. Ah, uh, uh, do I put them on top? There we go. I didn't know that. That's why I wasn't making any money. I have to actually bring the boxes over. I've learned something new already. I had no idea I was supposed to do that. Soon I shall be the Box King. Oh, it's the end of Sunday. I don't know if I did my prayer yet today. It's Lord's Day, after all. If we're not praising the Lord, or some other deity of our choice, then what are we doing? Can a Zombo do that for me? Yes, they can. But I don't have a zombie for them right now. Oh, actually, I got a spare zombie. I got a spare zombie. Maybe I could put him over here. I gotta build, I gotta build my thing for it. I wonder what I have to give them, like, in, in like, um, like, in return. Because usually you have to, like, set them up like a recipe. Oh, okay, poor station. Maybe I... Uh, okay, maybe I just go... Maybe I just go grab my zombie. I've got a zombie up near my vineyard right now, but I don't... I, I don't use that zombie. I really don't. So let's see if I can put this zombie to good use as a means to transport my boxes back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We'll see. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. You've got some, got some grapes going for us? What a nice gentleman. What is in my inventory? Ah, oh, there's so many good things in my inventory. Sir, I need you. I need you downstairs. I'll come back for the other goody goodies. I'll come back for the grapes eventually. Ugh, oh, my inventory is so full. Don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when your pockets are completely full and you're completely encumbered? I gotta say, I guess I, guess I don't really hate it. It's kind of nice to feel like I've got important things in my pocket. I suppose. Parts. Parts. I have all these chisels on me. Oh, yeah, I was getting a bunch of blue points last time. I was just chiseling rocks. That's all I was doing. Just chiseling some rocks. It's something we do normally. Probably. It's probably normal. Actually, I'll, I'll get you in a second. I'm gonna go back for the other... The, the vine stuff. Grapes. They're called grapes. I forgot what they were called. They're called grapes. You pick up grapes from the vine. That's how we do it. I got grapes. I have additional grapes. Grapes. Grapes for my pockets. Oh, I don't have a lot of compost up here. I gotta bring more compost. Gotta put more compost there. Gotta do more. Gotta put more stuff down. I got enough for that, but not enough for that one. Sad boy time. But I can put all the seeds and the crop stuff in the chest and make my way downstairs. Try to see if I can do the zombie little thing. Zombie do good things. I don't think, as of yet... I think I've had this zombie for like a couple sessions now, and I don't think that I have once been able to put it to significantly good use. Because <laughs> I don't think it's ever moved. It's just kind of sat there near the grapes being like, Ugh, grapes. I wish I could touch those. Or, or maybe my zombie doesn't actually have any wants. Perhaps it can't feel desire. In which case, I'm sorry, zombie. I didn't mean to do that to you. That's just mean. Cruel and unusual. Oh, goodness. Anyway. 
Put. Work efficiency, 10%. How do I make you work better? I don't know. I literally have no idea. Maybe, like... I wonder if the fresher the zombie is, the higher their efficiency is. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. But in any case, I have some health potions. I have some wine on me. Oh, let me see if I put some more grapes down here. Can I make some more fruit juice? I think I need 15 fruit juice. I have 12 of each. Or perhaps it's 12. I tend to forget. I require 15. We can't do anything else right now. We'll have to wait till next time. But I've got... I got wine on me. I should have some burgers and stuff. Probably. Should probably have more food on me. I don't have a lot of food, to be honest. I have all these, I have these food ingredients. But not food food. Maybe he's like a scare zombie protecting the crops. Oh, like scarecrow? Scare zombie? Right. Jerry seems to have desires, so there's hope for the undead. Jerry does have seem to have desires. He hasn't talked to me in a while. Jerry has not talked to me like at all. The last time he asked anything from me was wine. And I got him the wine. He just doesn't talk to me after that. This is sad boy time. It's a shame. It is an absolute shame. That my zombies, my, my other undead peoples will not talk to me. What, what else can I make? What kind of food can I make? There are plenty of different types of dinners to make, but I'm not interested in that. I'm thinking about food. Like maybe something with mushrooms. I got a few mushrooms. What other things we got? Maybe I just like cook things. Oh, I forgot I can make carrot cutlets if I have a bunch of carrots, but I don't have a lot of carrots. I could also do baked pumpkin. And they give 18 to 30. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, but it gives me slow metabolism. But oh, it all the buffs last longer. Oh. I got pumpkins. Oh, but I'm saving the pumpkins for the Today's focus is the dungeon. I will be making pumpkins. I will be making good pumpkin stew. Now how many of them can I do? Craft. Can I really only do one at a time? I feel like there must be a way to make that better. Well, that, now that's occupied. What else do I have in the meantime? Do I have any more carrot cutlets? I know I had carrot cutlets. Oh, I must have eaten them all. I also have this gold medallion. I also need to... God, there's so many things to do. Ugh, I gotta throw all this other stuff out of my inventory so that I can actually have space for things. Why do I have a bee here? Why bee? Why must you be the way that you be today? Such confusion. Anyway. We'll put the bee over here. Bees. Oh, the bees don't fit in there. Where have I been keeping the bees? I'll put the bee in here. You can stay here. I'll even put the incense here, too. And the rocks? I probably shouldn't. I'll keep the rocks with me. I don't need... I don't need to conserve the rocks. Now, hopefully that pumpkin of mine is done. I'll take that pumpkin down with me. And then I'll, I'll let the, the rest of the pumpkins just kind of cook in the background while I'm down on my first thing. Three baked pumpkins! Wow! Yeah, like, can I... If I do it like that, and then I go back down, I go back, I can't change the amount. That's really annoying. That's really annoying, actually. I can only cook one at a time, it seems. That seems counterintuitive. Why do like that? If I click my buttons? Nope, that don't do. All right, fine. One baked pumpkin at a time, then. I will go down with three and assign it to uh, one of my hotkeys. Uh, equip to the right. Perfect. There's also like a little blue potion down there in the bottom corner, and I honestly don't know what that would have been. Do I have more potions? Actually, let's see what other buffs I've got. Like attack buffs or make people slow? What do I got? I've got protection potion. Incoming damage reduced. That seems like a really good idea. Can I get more of those protection potions? How to make protection potions? How do? How do protection potion? Oh, this is the wrong bench. I want to go to this one. Protection potion? Potion of protecting? Potion of protecting? Protection potion? Potion? Potion protecting? I think that one is made up at the top over here. Potion protecting? Potion protecting. I can make two of them. It requires some more slowing solution, and I can get more slowing solution by using the cobwebs that I have and turning them into paste. Put the paste over here. Paste. So the cobwebs into paste. I know I have cobwebs. Cobwebs? Co don't I have cobwebs? Oh. Those can't be turned into the paste. But what can be turned into paste that is slowing? The bees? Nope, that's life solution. 
Okay, but I got some good stuff from it. Big slummy salute. Oh, beeswax. Beeswax. That's what does it. Because it's waxy. Oh, that was a lot of... Wow. A lot of good solution. That was a really good solution for this particular problem. Interesting. Very nice. Bad puns, Cameron. Bad puns, Cameron. Or good puns, Cameron. Anyway. Let's put that in there and make a couple more protection potions. And I'll assign that to my top category. I'm preparing myself for battle! I have never prepared so far so much in this game so far. Let's use all that energy we got. And go for it! You know what they say? If you're an animal and you need to chop down trees with your teeth, go for it. I'm proud of myself sometimes. I like to make those like slight, light, witty remarks at work sometimes, where it just just a little bit of wordplay can go a long way in making just brightening up people's days. I have a particular coworker where whenever I do like wordplay jokes like that, he'll just kind of like he'll just kind of stare at me for a little bit and like smile and laugh and kind of like like shake his head, and that's what I know I've got him. It's my it's my inner dad talking, because I'm probably I'm probably honing it for when I actually have children one day. We'll see. All right, so I don't know how long... Oh, actually, wait a minute. So if I eat the pumpkin, I get slowed metabolism, and I can use the protection potion so that it goes down slower. That's strategy, baby. Now let's see where those ugly monsters are. I don't have, like, an attack up thing, although I'm sure that would be pretty good. Oh, stop that. I forgot. You lunge in, and then you attack. There we go. Give me them nails. Neato! Oh, yes. Very neat. Hi there. Oh, God. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? You're dead now. Don't let me step on your lava because they say the floor is lava. Oh, hi there. Goodbye there. Sweet. I can't remember whether or not, like, if I defeat an enemy and their stuff drops, if that drop sticks around until the next time I come down into the mines. I don't, or the dungeon. I don't remember if I do. As of writing, I'm about halfway down the dungeon, so I don't think... I, I don't know. I wonder how much longer it'll take me. I know I need to get to the bottom to meet up with Snake again. So I do need to get to the bottom of the dungeon to beat this game. So we have to do it eventually. Because I'm pretty sure my current working theory on how to beat the game is you need to con collect all of those special items. And being that it seems like two people so far, two, two or three people so far will only give you those items if you've maxed out your friendship with them. So I'm supposing that you have to do that with multiple different people in the storyline in order to get there. So that's that's where I'm currently at. And so if I need to increase my level with Snake all the way up to the top, then the only way to do so is to meet him at the bottom of the dungeon to complete the ritual once and for all. I don't know what else I'll need for the ritual, to be honest. Maybe I just need to get down there. Oh, are we? Didn't I need a book? I think I needed a book, but I think I already have the book. Hi there. Hey there, what's up? Oh, and then you walk away, and then you start throwing shit at me. Not kind, spider dude. Not kind, spider miss. Little miss speedor. Alrighty then. I am gonna need additional stuff. Did I fight all the enemy? Oh, I didn't kill the enemies. Oh, there's more enemies down here. I don't have a lot of energy left. Maybe I can, like, finish off this here and then... Whoa! Hi there! Hello! Oh my god. Hi. Oh. <laughs> don't. Don't touch. Please. Please do not touch me. Hi there. That type of touching is not allowed down here. Not unless you ask me first. Wow, there's three. Three little fire bats. Oh my god. There's not enough. I need to eat this. Must eat the pumpkin. Some would say that Red Bull gives you wings, but in my case, a giant gourd will give me wings. But only after you throw at my head first and knock me clean out cold. Because then I'll hallucinate flying. Maybe. Oh, stop that. Nope. Excellent! I don't remember the last time that I increased my the power of my sword. I don't quite remember. Whoa, okay. I don't have enough again? Fine. Fine. I'll eat the rest of my pumpkins then. There we go. Now I've got all the stuff that I could possibly ask for. Very positive. Very positive. Anyways, anywho is it. Now let's get out of here. Down to the next level, and then up, because I need... I mean, I got a little bit of energy left. I think I'll be okay. A little bit of energy? I... I can take on whatever you can throw at me, unless you have new enemies. What is that? What the hell is... What the frig is that? What are you? Can you hurt me from beyond here? No, you can't. You're like an inkblot with a mask on you. 
interesting. It's the Phantom of the Opera. It's the Phantom of the Dungeon. One, two, three, and then I go for the kill, right? Oh my god. Black j Oh! It's a black slime! That's what it is! It must be a black slime! And it also shoots out goo pellets! That's incredible. There are multiple goo pellets coming up from that direction. How much energy do I have? One. Enough. Okay, I got two more. Can I do it all at once? Yes! I definitely don't have enough energy left for the rest of these guys, so I'm gonna make my way back up to the top. I guess make more pumpkins in the in the annoying manner that I must do so one at a time. Venom, you changed. Yeah, you're hiding your pretty, pretty face with all your gnarly teeth and stuff. I always thought that Venom was an incredibly cool Spider-Man character. I'm not big into, like, comics and whatnot, so naturally wasn't super into, like, Spider-Man in my formative years. But there was one kid on the bus that I would sit next to, and he was really into Spider-Man. And I think... The one comic that he brought in the one time was a car an issue with Carnage in it. Carnage and Venom. It was like describing their particular symbiote abilities. And I was like, that's so freaking cool. It looks awesome. It looks scary. It terrified me. But for some reason, I've always been kind of into things that kind of scare me. Kind of terrify me a little bit. So that stuff was always really, really cool to me. And like, I really do want to watch... Um, I watched the Venom movie that came out recently. I haven't yet watched Let There Be Carnage, but I really, really want to. And I don't know exactly what's holding me back. Nothing really is holding me back. I just, I just haven't yet. Just haven't gotten around to it. We'll get to it eventually. But before I do that, I'm gonna drop off some of my stuff over here. Before I, before I unleash the carnage. I don't have any carnage to unleash. Black jelly. I gotta research that. Do I have enough faith to research that? God, that's, that's cool. I wonder what it can be turned into. Black jelly. Oh, sweet. Do I have enough? Enough energy? Enough energy? Ugh! I must sleep. I must sleep and cook up more pumpkins. Oh, it's merchant day. Uh, mm. I was thinking about going to the merchant and buying more grape seeds. But I'm trying to conserve my monies. But... Okay, no, 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 I take that back. I am going to go talk to the merchant while I still can, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my grape empire. I'm going to get as b a bunch of seeds, as many seeds of uh, grape seeds as I possibly can to make the highest quality wine. That's my plan. A hey, buddy? A. Hey. Uh, salty fork. Oh, I need the salty fork from this guy. Let's talk about business. Let's talk about business. Or let's trade, 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 trade. How many golds do you got? I want them all. Give me all of them. Give me all the gold you- Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Royal fish? I don't- I don't need that. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. Ma'am. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll- I'll take the silver ones, too, because I got them. And I think I needed silk for something. I don't remember what it was, but I need silk for something. So I'm just going to buy all the silk that he's got and then regret it later. Actually, I shouldn't- mm, I shouldn't buy all the silk because that gets more expensive. Yeah, it's fine. I like this offer. I'll finish that. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your patronage. I appreciate it. Mostly new Carnage. Uh, Lorelai mostly new Carnage from the PS1 game where Venom was both creepy and goofy while Carnage was just terrifying. XP and Venom 2 was fun. Ooh. That sounds like cool. That sounds really cool. I don't know. I've always liked... I feel like I've always been into that sort of like slimy humanoid uh, uh, aesthetic. And what I mean by that is like I, I'm kind of into... I think I'm really into, like, body horror. Like, those type, like, shows that depict any sort of body horror. I don't know if this is, like, a weird thing to say or not. I'm really into shows that do body horror. It's, like, it's, it's really, it's freaky in a way that I suppose would probably make most people feel uncomfortable. But I don't know. It's just, like, it just seems interesting to me. Like, I, I don't exactly know where it comes from. But, like, uh, there's a show that I've watched. There's an anime I watched called Parasite. Love that show. Tons of body horror. It's basically the entire show is body horror. I watched a show called Aiko, A-I-K-O. That also turned out to be body horror. I didn't know that in the beginning, though. But I was into that show. I'm not super into it, but I liked it. And, um, I don't know. I would consider Carnage and Venom to be type, like, body horror type stuff, too. I would consider that to be the case, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I get that vibe. But I always did that, that kind of stuff. Just, like, maybe it's just the idea of... I, don't, I guess I like... For that same reason, to kind of go off into a different tangent, I like Carnage and Venom the same reason that I like 
chaos from Sonic the Hedgehog because there's something something about the idea that you can like like extend the body out beyond your physical limits like extend it all the way out where it's like like chaos has got that punchy attack or Venom can like I guess Spider-Man they're gonna all like shoot their webs out I don't like the extension of the self has always been a really interesting thing to me and I guess by that by that proxy that's I'm all I guess I'm also be into like Miss Mrs. Incredible and also um Who's the who's the dude from the Fantastic Four? Mr. Mr. What? Mr. Impossible, Mr. Whatever. I don't know. Mr. Elastic. He's an elastic guy. I don't know. And she's then this is incredible as an elastic girl. Ha! Huh, elastic girl. It's a thing. But like, I don't know. I've always I always thought that was cool. If I could have a superpower. Actually, if I could have a superpower, I'd love to have a lot of things. But like, I've I have to think about it. In terms of that, it'd be really cool to have the ability to just like extend my body parts. For various reasons, not the weird ones, but like, I'm a short person, so it'd be really cool for me to like, extend my arm up to like, where my cocktail ingredients are, without having to go get the step stool. Or base, or like, or like, extend my hand across the room, to the point where I could grab my cocktail ingredients. I wouldn't have to move from behind my desk, I wouldn't have to move from behind my bar over there. I could just stretch my hand out wide, and then grab what I need. That would always be a really cool thing. Mr. Fantastic, that was a guy. Amorphous beings can also lend themselves so well to animation, since the squash and stretch principle of animation is kind of where they thrive as an in-universe element. Good point. Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic Four. What did I call them? Did I call them the Fantastic Four and somehow not realize that he's Mr. Fantastic? I'm a little dense sometimes. It happens. But <laughs> they can even have like limited shape shifting, which is ideal. Yeah, they totally can. I don't know. That concept is always... It's been cool to me, and I don't exactly like I, I don't exactly know why, but I've always been into that kind of stuff, and not in a weird way, but like it's just it's cool. So I don't really I don't know I don't know dog that's the this is what I'm kind of feeling like that. In any case, I'm trying to think of other superheroes that I kind of I was never much into like superheroes when I was younger. Like I just didn't like the idea of like seeing something like looking up to somebody who's fictional as a role model but you know there's nothing wrong with that i honestly there are characters there are fictional characters who are much better role models than like half the people that i know or half the people that i see i mean i got a lot of i got a lot of good friends so maybe not half the people i know but i feel like a lot of fictional characters are so much better role models than anybody that i see in like the media or stuff like that oh hey snake you're up here um, take the endless notebook. I don't need that. But last task. What's my final task going to be? I thought you were at the bottom of the dungeon. Now we have the Hunter's Medallion. It's all coming together for me. Oh. I guess I needed to give him a medallion. Cool. You see, it can help you open the gate to the 11th level. I need you to go deeper and bring me a golden apple. Oh, sweet. I can totally do that. That's the last thing I need for my ritual. Okay, well in that case, I'm gonna make my way down to the 11th level and unlock it with the Hunter's Medallion. I'm almost there! Wow! This is gonna be so easy. Just kidding. I'm sure that it is wrought with terror and all things spooky wooky. Plenty of spooky wooky. Absolutely. Can I break these apart? I'm gonna break these apart. I want materials. I want materials today. Oh yes. A snake desiring an apple, you said. Oh, I get that. That's a reference to the Bible. Cause like, cause like the devil be a snake and the, the tree is the apple of the tree of life. Uh, it's not the tree of life, the tree of knowledge. Tree of forbidden knowledge or something like that. I don't know. They were all naked until she ate the fruit. Why you gotta eat the fruit, girl? Oh, wait, 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 I need protection. Uh, Slowing and protection. There we go. Why you gotta eat the fruit, dude? So some would say, I, I bet once upon a time, people look back at the story of Adam and Eve and thought to themselves, you know, the takeaway from this is not to eat fruits. And then everybody realized they were wrong. One, two, three, going for the kill. Oh my God. All right, that didn't kind of work. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's more. Oh, you don't go that far. I know how to handle this. Are there any ranged weapons? I just noticed. I don't recall there being any ranged weapons. Oh God. Okay, I can just stand here. Oh, because you're only in that particular... Oh, shoot. Yep, yeah, oh, nope, you got me. Hey, yo. I only have close range weaponry. Huh. At least, I think I only have close range weaponry. I don't know. Can I... 
I don't know if I can make a bow and arrow or not. Surely that would be something I can research, right? Oh my goodness. Wow, wow look at all these points I have. Huh. I didn't know I had all these points. Can I research ranged weaponry? Oh, actually, mm, maybe I should research stuff to make my church look better. Like my gravestones and stuff. What else do we got? Uh, oh, this was the smithing. I don't see anything over here. What about over here? Uh, woodworking. I can make very advanced wood stuffs. Prayer for excellence. Uh, carpenter. I know how to deal with wood. Circular saws are more productive. And mason. I like that. Let's do that one. That one feels good. I want to be a mason. I want to be a carpenter someday. I do, do, I do wind up doing a little bit of word work sometimes. Hi-yo. Oh my god. Hi -oh, hi oh Don't die. Or die. Hey, come after me. Yeah. Come after me. All of you. Oh, I don't have enough inventory space? Oh, shucks. I thought I had more inventory space than that. What do I got? What do I have in my inventory? I thought I... Oh, wow. I did not empty all of that. All right, I guess I'll come back for this another time. Oh, well. Even the golden apples could be a reference, but more a Greek one. Eris used one to cause strife between Athena, Aphrodite, and Hera, which led to the Trojan War. And can't remember if a tree of golden apples of immortality was guarded by a serpent or just a giant with all of the eyes, which was made into the peacock when he died. Because peacocks look they have, like they have eyes on their quills and feathers. Yeah! I know that. I've seen peacock stuff before. And not the shitty streaming service either. Oh wow, no, more silver. Like that. Gotta love more silver. Oh, do I not have space for the silver? I only have space for 10 silver. That seems odd. I don't need the spider web. I'll just take more silver nuggets. Wow, I can only hold 10 at once. I guess they're just heavy or something. I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Actually, before I move on, I just realized that I completely forgot my water bottle over at my bar setup. So I'm gonna go grab my water so that I don't like not be hydrated because we require hydration. Hydration is key. Consumption is key. Where is my water bottle? I cannot find my water bottle. Where did I put this darn thing? Water bottle? Water bottle? Where is this thing? Oh my god. Oh, found you. You're on the ground. Gotcha. Oh, look at this. And I found something cool too. I also found the propane torch. Wapow! You can't really. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I found the propane torch. Oh my god, wait a minute. No, insert memory card. No, I don't want to do that. No, stop that. Uh, yeah. Well, look at this. Don't do this at home, kids. Fire. Anyway. I like fire. I like to do things in a, in a safe manner like that. Uh, so long as it can be done safely. I make sure that I have no flammable objects around. I would say that I'm not even flammable myself, but that would be a lie. Because I know I'm flammable. Not that I've seen it in experience. I just like, I, I feel like I should know. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of energy. I need more energy. Hi. Hey, pal. Oh my god. Oh, don't do that. Enough of that. Stop that. Why would you run away? Don't run away. Don't do that. Don't do the old thrust and back off thing. Not a fan of that. Oh, hi there. Okay, well, you can't get me from here. One, two, three. And then I move forward. Oh, hi there, slimes. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. There is too many things going on here. Wow, okay. I was not at all prepared for that. Ah, look at all this stuff. Oh my god. Wow! There are so many enemies! Wowza! That's a lot. Here, you can come after me one at a time, please. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. I definitely cannot take all of you at once. I'm not that kind of girl. I just can't do it. Oh, goodness. Oh, god. I guess this is really... I mean, taking them all head-on is not that bad, honestly, because I've got all that... I got my healing ingredients and stuff. I'm doing just fine. I'm just kind of running out of energy. I don't really have a lot for energy. Oh yeah, I'm not really taking much damage, to be honest. But I am going to run out of... If I just eat a bunch of these, I'll be totally fine. Ah, oh, look at me totally taking on these bad items. This is not difficult at all. I will not die today. I will not die today. I feel like a total bulwark. This is so easy. The only thing I'm really missing is... Um, I, just, I just need... I need something to heal my energy up a little better. Aside from the pumpkins. Oh, what kind of onion seeds are these? I don't need these bloody nails. But I do need these onions. Silver star onion seeds! I want the gold ones, but it's a step in the right direction. Cool. Cool. Alright, what's going on, every, every buzz? Every buzzy? Hi there, every buzzy! Hey, what's going on? 
How's it going? Oh wow, this is a pretty. Uh, no, no, no. There's more caverns down below. Oh hi. Hello, you uh, automaton thing. You do a lot of damage. Okay, you do a lot of damage. Not liking that. I'll heal myself. All the oh, all of the slimes. Oh, I I can eat blue slime. I forgot. I can do that. Oh, I can't eat blue slime. My first. Why did I think I could eat blue slime? Definitely can't eat blue slime. And I remember why I, I'm completely over encumbered. I have a bunch of seeds. I just bought a bunch of stuff from the merchant before coming here. Not very smart of me. Hi there. Hi gold. I like gold. I like gold things. Gold things are good. Wow, you're all dead now. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that on purpose. Just kidding. I did. Um, what else can I drop? I don't need... I don't need this other chisel. But I do need the gold. I will take the gold with me. I think... Some of the church stuff depends on gold. I can make, like, gold, like, fashioned gold rings or whatever, and I think that does good for me. Oh my god, hi. hey -o. Oh my god, out of energy. hey -o. There we go. You're not that difficult. You're not that difficult when I'm prepared for you. Oh, I've run out of black jelly. Still don't know what that does, though. Oh, look at that. Beet seeds. Easy. I think that's all the enemies down here. Oh, health potion! Thank you. Oh, more onion seeds. Which onion seeds? Uh, I'll clear out the simple iron parts. I don't need that. Yes. Gold star onion seeds. Exactly what I was hoping for. I am tired. Oh, I should probably go up and sleep. I think this was the last little area down here on floor 10. So let's move along. Yes. All right. This is the next area. Barrel. I broke a barrel. I like to break things. Breaking things can do good. It can do wonders for the body. Have you ever broken things and your and your skin just shines? That's because you broke things. That's sending all the serotonin to your brain. I actually have a necklace that has serotonin on it. Probably can't see that. It's got a serotonin hormone on it. It's good stuff. It's the happy hormone. Serotonin is the happy hormone. It's also the hormone that apparently controls such things as aggression, anxiety, and diarrhea. According to Google, at least. I believe it. I didn't eat all my... Give me the... Oh, it must be gold star pumpkins. Oh. There's a 20% chance of making a gold, and I did it. First, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna plant some things. I'm gonna put the onions where they need to be, because I rely on the onions for my survival. Sort of. Actually, I need... I need the gold star onions so that... Oh, I don't want to do that. I want the onions. I need the gold star onions so I can make more burgers. Oh, those pumpkins. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Why do I have space for crop waste? I don't want crop waste. No, get that out of my inventory. Destroy! I will take the pumpkins, though. I will definitely take the pumpkins. I can utilize those pumpkins for good things. Good, great things. Good, great things will lie beyond the horizon. What are the things that I put in here? Uh... <clears throat> I can put... I don't know. I got space. Let's just put some bat wings in here for now. Why not? Eh, I don't need to worry about it. I, I'm not I'm not worrying too much about it. Put the pumpkin seeds in there, grab some more pumpkin seeds, put some more pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. That's all really they need. And I think, am I keeping the wheat in this chest? I'll keep the wheat over here because I can always sell it to the grain guy. Oh, oh, and the onions. Don't forget the onions. I'm specifically growing onions. That is, that is a goal that must be accomplished. Put that there. Put the crop waste away. Put the onion seeds back in the ground. Oh, I don't have enough silver star onion seeds. That is incredible. As soon as I got more, too. Shucks. I will also go ten. I'll put all my uh, I'll put all my seed, the grape seed, back up near the vi the vineyard, because that will be useful later on. Nothing's grown yet, but I can start growing this one here. I also need more, uh, I forgot, I need more, uh, compost. I didn't bring that up. Oh, I also have fertilizer. Wait, 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 let's use quality fertilizer. Quality fertilizer. A and, and grape seeds. Yeah, quality fertilizer on that for the gold ones. That seems like a good idea. We'll do quality fertilizer there and also these ones. I've got space for a couple of these. And I'll just use regular peat for this one. Oh, look, you just grew. Oh. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's harvesting time again. Yeah, look at that. Lucky me. This was where the gold seed goes. 
Actually, I'm going to switch that out for the silver seed. I don't have enough silver seed. I have to hit harvest this first. No! There we go. Did not have enough. Silver seed. Still don't have enough of that. Uh, you will get quality fertilizer. Eventually, I will organize this. Maybe. Eventually, maybe I want to. And this one is also silver seeds, pretty sure. Uh, put some peat there. Silver seeds. I need to put things in here. Like more grape seeds. Oh, I picked up grapes instead. Didn't want to do that. I will put silk in here for now. Then I'll pick up the seeds. Then I'll plant the seeds. That's the gold seeds. I think I have more silver seeds, don't I? Wow, I do. I have. I still have more space for silver seeds. That's awesome. I'll take my silk back, though. So I'll, um... Man, this really is a vineyard now. I'm actually growing vines. That, that seems ideal. I feel like that's what I was supposed to be doing this entire time. That makes sense. And we'll plant some, plant some seeds. Sweet. I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Okie doke. Head on back down here. Take care of... Did I need to plant more onions? I did. Oh, but I can't plant more onions. Because I'm out of onion seeds. Makes me sad. But I got these good, good, good onion... Uh, baked pumpkin slices again. I like that. I'll make an even better one this time. This will be a good one. Epic. Alright, I have to throw some things downstairs, too. I need to research the black jelly. My goodness, there's so much stuff to do. You know you've mastered the undead when you can produce new vines. Oh, yeah. You know, usually, though, and I mean, the only reason I know this is because I took a wine class. I don't think vines die. Like, I don't think grape vines die every time you harvest them. So I don't know why the graveyard keeper is uprooting these things. They can probably continue producing fruit, I think. Because, like, you can get old vine wine, which means it's just, it's a vine that's been around for a long time. So, like, it makes sense to say that this graveyard keeper does not need to be constantly replanting his grapevines. I've completed the study of black jelly, which can be made into a fluid and an essence. What type of fluid and essence? That bears questioning. Let's see. Ooh, it's purple. That's chaos, I think. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And I think it can also be done into essence, right? Essence, 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 essence. It's purple. I love purple essence. Now, where do I keep the slime? I keep the slime in here. Awesome. Uh, I want to put the black jelly in there. Oh, it's not slime. It's jelly. Excuse me. Uh, put bat wings in there. What else do I keep in here? Anything of importance? I have all this other stuff. I think the silk should be kept down here. Silk should be kept down here. I don't know why I have all these maggots. I don't need these maggots. Give me 60 maggots, and I'm going to destroy all of them. I don't need this many maggots. Destroy. Destroy. Don't need them. Taking up space. Taking up too much space. Gosh. He is not well-versed in this area. This graveyard... He's a graveyard keeper. Not a vineyard keeper. Otherwise, he'd be called the vineyard keeper. Otherwise, this game would be called vineyard keepered. I wonder if there's a vineyard simulator out there. Like, I know there's, like, farming simulators and whatnot, but I wonder if there's a vineyard simulator. I just found out the other day that there's a gasoline... There's a, a gas station in, uh, simulator. I don't know if that's new or not, but I just discovered that the other day. It seems really up my alley. Somebody once was like, Yo, Cameron, you should play PC game... You should build PC building simulator. That seems like a game that's really up your alley. This was, like, way... This is, I think, way before I started streaming. And I was like... I've never even built a PC before, because I only built I only built my PC after I uh like right basically right before I started streaming. I think actually did I have the PC? No, I didn't actually. Did I? No, 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 it was around that Christmas time. So it was basically right before I started streaming, or technically right after I started streaming. That's when that's when I first did that. Ooh, pumpkin and it's gold. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Time to sleep. It's time to sleep. It's moon day, and I could talk to the astrologer. What the? I needed something from the astrologer, but what did he need from me? I think what I needed to do... Was, oh, Miss Charm wanted something from me. Miss Charm wants something. I can't pause my menu while I'm here. Let's see. Hold up a sec. Miss Charm needed... No NPCs. Charm, obtain aristocrat papers. I need 12 gold for that. So I need money for Miss Charm, so I can get the aristocrat papers so I can send them both to the town or whatever. But alas, 
Here we go. Actually, let me see if I can make something at the table over here. Something quicker than just um, the baked pumpkin. If I had more jellies and stuff, and honey, I could make more jelly. But nah, not really. Make dinners. I gotta work on that for the merchant too. I'll eventually get there. What else can I make? Zalakraut! I can make sandwiches. Sandwiches are good, but I don't have a lot of baked meat. I'd have to make sliced meat and uh, this stuff is just... I don't know. Seems to take a lot of time. Ah, I'm gonna just go down into the dungeon. I'm almost there. Oh, wait, did I just... Oh, sweet. I just made another one. Love that. Sweet. All right. Well, I'm just gonna continue down into the dungeon. That's what I... That's what I do. I'm gonna go down to the dungeon and... I don't know. Do something, probably. I'll protect myself while I'm down there. I wonder... I wonder how long it'll take me to get through this uh, this next dungeon level. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll see Snake by the time I get up, when I come back up. All right, back to the dungeon, and I think I've more or less cleared my inventory out for the most part. No, wow, I didn't clear my inventory out at all. What the heck, dude? You completely forgot more than half of the stuff in your inventory, bro. Cameron, come on. Wow. All right, well let's empty that stuff out. Silver nugs. Uh, gold nugs. Uh, I'll start cooking up some silver then. Because that makes sense. Silver. Silver, 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 silver. There we go. Now I can... Alright, that's good. Uh, onions. Go in the onion container. Put the onions in an onion container. Uh, blue jelly. Just, just put it up there. Actually, I don't need all that blue jelly. 21, 21, 21. I'll destroy that blue jelly. I don't need it. I'll put the flitches back outside. Vineyard Simulator. Feels kind of like Stardew Valley, but like late game, high yield stuff when you have a cellar full of casks to age starfruit or ancient wine and stuff. And you're even aware of a very Japanese sim that combines farming rice specifically with dungeon crawling, and I think it's called Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. That sounds awesome. I'm gonna write that down. That sounds really cool, actually. Sakuna, Rice and Ruin. Honestly, I didn't realize how much of a fan I was of these like Stardew Valley type games. Honestly, so when I first when I first played Graveyard Keeper, I actually I started playing Gra Graveyard Keeper upon request and I don't regret it because I really really like this game. And I thought to myself, I was like, I wonder how much farther how far I can go playing this game because I don't remember whether I was really really into like the farming simulator stuff. But wow, look at that. I'm apparently really into it. I am still playing this game months later after starting it. But that's because I'm trying to do a full playthrough of this one. I I am determined. I am determined to get through this game completely. And I will. I will get through it completely. There will be a whole freaking Let's Play series of this. Although usually Let's Play series, each episode has like a half hour or whatnot. At least I've seen more in the traditional fashion. But this is my niche, damn it. This is how I will do it. Actually, I'm definitely not the only one that did that. I was looking around... I was looking at the other games in my Steam library the other day, and I was looking at the community centers for a couple of the indie games and whatnot that I really want to play. Yo, are those rock slimes or fire slimes? They look like fire slimes. Orange jelly. Oh, this is new. Wow, there's so many different types of jelly. That is awesome. That's so cool. And anyway, anyway, so I was looking around the community hubs for some of the games that I might want to play at some point, and I actually found somebody who posted videos for a game that I plan on playing, so I'll just keep it on a surprise. But I found somebody who is who was also a streamer. I don't know if they're doing streaming stuff anymore, but she would post Let's Play series on YouTube and also post them as guides so that the Let's Plays themselves could be the guides with which you would, you know, potentially, you know, walk yourself through the game. Like, you can make guides on Steam. I, I don't really know how to do those. I, I've never done them myself. But instead of, like, writing things out, like, step by step, it was just a collection of Let's Play videos. And they were all, like, two and a half hours long because she did them on stream. And I was like, wow, I do that. I'm not the only person. Who knew? Granted, I knew I wasn't the only person. But, like, I don't know. Just seeing, just seeing like, somebody else who doesn't, like, I don't know, I guess hasn't done the short firm content. I, I, I want to do short firm content at some point, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting on it. I'm a lot closer to short firm content today than I was, like, a few months ago. Getting closer. Getting closer, closer every day. Um, because I kind of do that. I do have another YouTube channel that is specifically for short form content, but I haven't done any... Oh my god, I almost died. I don't have any short form content, really. Nothing I've done is less than an hour. <laughs> It just doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. I just, I, I just don't do it right now. 
One day soon, though. Anna and I were actually considering doing, like, actual Let's Play videos at some point, like, uh, with her and I playing some of the, uh, the Disney games that we want to, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. No big. One day, I'm sure. It's on the list. It's on the list of things that I definitely do want to do someday. Because I don't know. Like, uh, I mean, as a creator... I, I call myself a creator now. I'm definitely a content creator now. I'm gonna call myself a creator. As a creator now, I realize that I got options. There are a lot of things that I want to try and do that I haven't done before. Oh my god, hi. Explode. Nice. Epic. Nice. But like, I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. I know it's- I kind of take inspiration from, uh, at least one buddy of mine. Lycos Lore. Subscribe to that man on YouTube! Go get him! He's playing through a game called Tome right now. Terrain of Magical Expertise, and I am absolutely enjoying that playthrough. I- I love it. I love the music in that game. I love the vibe. I love the voice actors. Oh, and I like my Glenny boy. But anyway, but uh, I've taken inspiration from him on more than one occasion, indeed. Lorelai's like, I mean, you've seen Let's Players have their average episodes about at the hour long, even with uh, the hour long mark, even without them being edited streams. It's all about what you're most comfortable with making. Yeah, I like doing this stuff. I do a little bit of editing. All the breaks and stuff get, I don't, I don't keep the breaks in these streams. It just, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that, let's say I were stumbling across uh, a new video that I've never watched before. I really don't want to have to skip through the first five to seven minutes of the video because there's a starting soon thing on for the streamer. Granted, I think a starting soon screen is, it's kind of smart. It gives some time for people to pop in, which is why I do it. That's that's why I, that's why I do it. I do it because I think it's a good idea, naturally. I, it's a part of my process. But so like, if I were like kind of scrounging around YouTube, if I saw somebody with something like that, my mindset would be like, ah, I think maybe I'll find something different. I don't really feel like, or I'll feel like skipping through this. I mean, it's easy to do on mobile and easy to do on PC, but if I'm sitting there like, at my, my television screen and all I have is my Amazon Fire remote, then it's kind of difficult to skip through like a majority part of the video. Hey, look, a gate. I'm gonna open it with my Hunter's Medallion. Can I go downstairs yet? Nah, I can't. Not yet. But so my inclination would be as my type, I know there are so many different types of viewers out there. Me, my type of viewer, because I feel like, I feel like, I don't know, this is what I would do. If I found something like that and I was in an, if it would take more effort for me to get to the good part, then I'm sure I can find something else to watch. And I'm definitely not the only person that feels that way. Which is like a good thing, I guess. I don't know, we're all, we're all our own types of watchers. Stop, don't, don't, don't do that. But who watches the watchers, X Twitch? That's one of Twitch's achievements. It's who watches the watchers. And I think it has to do with how many watch time hours you have, which is basically however long somebody watches your content and, they, and then totaled up. So if like, if three people watch three hours of the stream, then that would be nine total watch time hours. And I, I, I don't I don't remember where I can see that. I think I can see it on the stream anal like channel analytics page. I like looking at the numbers sometimes. Sometimes the numbers are really cool to look at. Orange jelly, I love that. Regular bead seed, I don't need that. Some flitches, don't need that. Uh, electric powders are cool. Uh, blah, blah. We're fine, that, that's fine. I don't need all that stuff. Laura, like how you, yeah, how, whoa, I cannot speak today. Reset. How you convert your streams to YouTube works very well. Indeed, I try so. And I even, like, like, one of the reasons that I kind of changed up the overlay a little bit before for the cocktail setup, and I'm planning on doing that, this basically the same thing for the whole game setup, too. I've got some changes in the mix uh, that are not currently live yet, but they're working in the background. But so, I thought to myself the other day, I was thinking about it, like, the logic of it all. And so, recently what I did is, I, I know I make cocktails on stream, but like, if you were to come across a YouTube video and you're like a cocktail fanatic like I would, you would never know just by looking at that video that there's a potential ingredient that awaits for you in the description below. Haha! -ha! Selfless, shameless, self, shameless plug or whatever. But like, you wouldn't know. And so as I was going through all like YouTube videos and stuff that I had, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just make a playlist. I'm gonna have a playlist that lists which videos have cocktails in the description because if you would want to know, wouldn't you want to know if you were on the lookout for it? Like, I'd want to know. Dude, if I came across a YouTube channel and there were just cocktail recipes, like, in the description, I'd want to go to that description and I would want to know about it. And being that it's not a, this isn't, like, a cocktail-specific channel or anything, you wouldn't know otherwise. So I was like, I think these warrant their own videos completely. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to figure out the editing technique with it, but they're gonna be two separate things. There will be two videos coming out. And one will contain the cocktail se section, and one will contain the game section. Because I think, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would be easier for people like me. 
If I was the one looking around at my own channel, I'd be like, I'd want to know which one's the cocktail part and which one's the game part. So I'm going to split them up and see how that goes. And really, the only person who would know how it goes is me, because I'm really the only person that, like, pays attention to all the numbers and whatnot, if the numbers even show up, which oftentimes they don't. But half the fun is just making the thumbnail, so I do it anyway. I don't think I'm going to keep doing it, because I'm having a good time with it. It's a nice, it's kind of, it's cool to be able to be on the schedule, because, like, I get to look for, I get to go to work during the week, and I get to think about, like, oh, what am I going to do next stream? Like, what cocktail am I going to make next week? And it's, it's exciting. It's, like, really, really exciting. I like it. Oh my god, I didn't even see that chat message from Lorelai. But yeah, as long as the numbers don't stress me out. The numbers don't really... Honestly, all they do is encourage me. I've kind of gotten past the point where, like, I feel like it's gonna, put, like, kind of bring me down. Like, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. The fact that... The fact that anybody clicks on that button, clicks on the, either the Twitch channel here or the YouTube channel there, is like, wow, this is really, really cool. I like this. I hope people are having a good time out there. Although, we can't... It can't all be just so hunky-dory, you know? I actually saw, I saw the other day, and I think it's been, I mean, props, props to everyone for getting this far without a dislike, but I got my first dislike last month, and I was like, yes, finally, I've become controversial. <laughs> like, that was my reaction. I, I think of it like, the first time I got stung by a jellyfish, I was like, oh my god, wow, that hurts. I was stung by a jellyfish. Excitement. Oh my god, what the frick is that thing? Whoa. Sorry, I got distracted. But the first time I got stung by a jellyfish, I was like, Oh my god, jellyfish! Ow, this hurts! And so the first time I see your cha your channel average is not at 100% anymore. It's not at down at 97.5. I was like, Yo! I'm controversial now! Yay! Or maybe the content sucks. Nah, everyone's titled to their opinions. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. I'm cool with it. I think it's pretty fun. I like what I do. So, if you don't like it, if you don't like this, Click the dislike button, because I want to know. I want to know what your honest opinion is. And if you have questions, concerns, critiques, I don't know, you can leave it in the comments if you want to. Do whatever you want to do. Just live your best life, okay? That's all I ask. All I can really ask is for you to live your best life. And then I'll keep doing the same. I'll keep living my- If you live your best life, I'm gonna live mine. Case closed. Oh, hey there, fire bats. Please don't. Oh, I have no energy. But I've got baked pumpkins to heal the way. Oh, and I have gold star pumpkins, too. I just remembered that. Hi there. Hi there, bats. Hi there, bats. Hey, hey, bats. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Heals. Hi, every buggy. I've already made this joke. Come to me and die. A gruesome, gruesome death. Hi there. Hello, spider. Oh, my God. Whoa, you can break through the urns? I didn't know that the bats could actually break through the urns like that. Oh my god, please, no. Oh my god, no! It's fine, it's fine. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, dog? Big automata thing, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if you're, like, an automata or, or otherwise. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know it. All right. That was pretty good. What else does the rest of the dungeon have in store for me? I wonder... I think I got an achievement when I got to this floor. So there's apparently a golden apple somewhere around here, and I need to be on the lookout for it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to take these golden pumpkin, baked pumpkins, and equip those so I can use those too. Hi! Oh, that was exciting. Take all these orange things out of the way. I can't, I, I'm wondering what I can get from these, uh, these orange jellies. Okay, I see that. I see you. I see you, my friend. Oh my god. Whoops. Okay. We're good. Oh, I didn't have my buff on. Probably should have had my buff. Guys. Gotta use my buffs. Buffing away. Walking along in the buff. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I have pants on. I have shirt on. I am fully clothed right now. How about you? You don't have to tell me. That's okay. You can keep that. It's, it's your business. It only will ever need to be your business. Oh my god, hi. Oh my god, hi everybody. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, that was good. Oh my god, stop! All right, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hi-yo. hey yo Bye-bye. Dead now. I thought there was a way to, like, get into these bookshelves, but I guess not. Not all bookshelves are openable, I guess. Did I kill the monsters? Nah, I didn't kill the monsters. 
Maybe there'll be like a chest down here somewhere with a golden apple in it. Or maybe the golden apple will be at literally at the bottom of the dungeon. In which case, I kind of saw it coming. I'm going to call it now. If that's the case, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I saw it coming all along. There was a snake dude. But he was human. I don't know why he calls himself Snake. Probably, I guess it's probably his name. I shouldn't shame a man for its name. They can take away our lives, but they can't take away our... The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacities test that progressively gets harder the longer that it goes on or something like that. I don't do that meme very well. I don't do a very good, um, is it Irish? Scottish accent? I don't know the difference, and that's probably going to get people very angry. I don't do a very good that accent. Whatever it is. They can take our lives, but they can't take our... And then it goes in the... That's a... That's a Mimi's. That was a pretty dank Mimi. Hey, look, a crystal thing. I think there's diamonds in that. Actually, I'm completely sure that there's diamonds in that. Love to get more diamonds. Love to get diamonds. Love demons. Demons? Are there demons in here? Wow, look, demons. I love demons. Uh, let's get these flitches out of the way. I can make more flitches. Demons. The studio that made Summer Wars, Wolf Children, The Boy and the Beast, and Mirai even made a new movie that kind of touches on that. You can't create without complaints. Issue with, uh, can't, can't, you can't create without complaints issue with online formats. Called Bell, very much Beauty and the Beast told through an online culture focus, where the Bell in question is a shy girl who gets really popular with her singing. The dub even translated all of her song, and it works well. I actually just watched something recently. Oh my god, what did I just watch recently? That I'm pretty sure was also made by the same studio. I don't... I don't remember. It wasn't It wasn't any of the ones that you mentioned, but I swear I was watching something and I was like, this reminds me of that one. Oh, no, no, no. I remember what it was. I remember I was looking up something and the thing that I was looking up was Noblesse Oblige. And I was like, God, what show is that from? And Noblesse Oblige is from Summer Wars because you would like make the command into the phone and it would go like, Noblesse Oblige, like you're like... We'll follow your command or something like that. Your your command is my wish or your wish is my command or something like that. And I was like, that's where that was from. And it was a really good studio. And I think I knew about that it also made the the Boy and the Beast. And of course, the uh, Mirai. Good stuff. Gotta love that. Mirai is in Mirai Niki or Oh and, oh and, oh that was eating the East. Damn it! Okay, sorry. I got that mixed up. Summer Wars was the thing that was the same as a uh, uh that was the the Digimon equivalent. Alright, well, yeah, I didn't do that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take the hit on that one. <laughs> I'm just wrong. I haven't watched it recently, so, but it was definitely at the forefront of my mind somewhere. It was, it was up there. At least I'm thinking of it. That piece of media will continue to live on because people like me just randomly think about it and think to themselves, I like that. That's all I ask for. Maybe somebody is having random thoughts right now and they think to themselves, that was a pretty cool, it was a pretty pretty cool thing that was a cool cocktail stream and i'd be like yes mirai means future so yeah same word mirai niki was future diary nice was there another thing called mirai itself or or is this also mirai niki as in future diary or the future diary love that show very good show also very uh very deadly very deadly show but i liked it uh, did I go off in this direction? I think I'm getting myself lost down here. I don't remember whether or not I went... Oh, no, no, this is where I came. Did I go up, though? I don't think I went up. Let's see. Are there enemies nearby? Oh, no, no, no. I already did that. So, was this the way to go? Yes, look at that. Epic. I did it again. And I am very sleepy. And I think I should go and grab some more pumpkins from the upstairs. As I continue searching along for this golden apple. The goal is dungeoneering. We're dungeoneering today. We're going all the way down. Just like this. We're going on an adventure. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. It's adventure time, my friends. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to a very different land. Take the dog and send the new man a book. And I'll never run it. Adventure time. I don't need all this jelly. That's too much jelly. Too much jelly. Get rid of it. 
I have orange jelly now. I should go research that. I'll put that in the basement. Got some other materials over here. Wow, look at all that. That's pretty cool. I got more silver nuggets, though. And not enough space for all of it. Wonderful. I have a bunch of metal scrap, too. I should do all the metal scrap first, actually. That's what I'll do. I'll take all the metal scrap, and I'll turn that into iron. I get a lot of... Anna, what are you doing in there? I heard, like, something in the back, and I heard a motor start running, and Anna might be vacuuming the bathroom. I think. <laughs> it, freaked, it freaked me out. All of a sudden, out of my headphones, I heard, like, a rrrm sound. I don't know if that was caught up on the, on the microphone or not. It's a me problem. It's not a you problem. It's a me problem. It scared me. It not scare you. It not scare me. Put the nuggets in here. I'll put... Was I keeping the diamonds in here? Oh, the diamonds are in the basement. I remember that. The diamonds are in the basement. Um, I got gold star onion seeds again. Yes. I can plant more of that stuff. Uh, gold star onions? You are the silver star onions. You are the gold star onions. Pete. That. Uh, this. There. That. And that. Plant some more. Don't have enough onion seeds for that. Seeds. Got lentils. Um... Also, I got crop waste. Don't need none of that. Um, got more onions. Got more onions. Got to like some onions. Get some, get some gourds. What else we got? Mirai is a standalone film by the studio about a boy trying to get used to his family unit changing with his new baby sister. Aww. That sounds heartfelt. Heartwarming. Not heartfelt. Like a heartfelt apology. No. It feels heartwarming. You know what? It, it makes me feel something with the heart. So I like it. It makes me feel a certain heart kind of way. And I'm cool with that. I'm all cool with that. Alright. Onions. And onion seeds. Pumpkin seeds. I got some more pumpkin seeds. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Then I still have the hunter's medallion. I don't know if I need to keep the hunter's medallion on me. Maybe? I am unsure. Anyways, let's go up. I don't think there's anything else I need outside. But I should make some more pumpkins. I'm gonna make us some pumpkins. I'm gonna make us some pumpkins. Oh, and I've got... Oh, the gold onions. The gold onions again. Oh my god, words. The gold onions were what I needed to be able to... Um, oh my god, to be able to create the gold star burgers for the Inquisitor's lunch. I don't know. I don't remember how many I need. I think I need five burgers total. Or maybe I just needed four. I might only need just a little bit more. In which case... That's another activity that I'll be able to get to today, potentially. How long are we? Are we only two hours in? I'm tired for some reason. I'm really tired. Like I am, all, I am already like tired enough to end the stream, but I'm not ready yet. I am too determined to continue, so I will continue. I also need. Oh, I need to bake the meat. Okay. But I have. What do I need for the Gold Star Burger? I need more meat, and I don't yet have enough meat. So I need to collect more meat from bodies, but. I don't have those yet. Instead, I'm gonna cook some pumpkins. Pumpkin's good. But while that's cooking, I'm gonna go down and go. Blue Valley really took its toll. Yeah, it really relaxed me, didn't it? It really did the thing that it was supposed to do. Blue Valley, cocktail recipe. Not in this video, I guess. I'd say that it's in the description below, but it's not. Not anymore. Go check out the other one. Although the VOD will still remain to have all of them. The VOD will have that. Actually, I just noticed. I I just remembered that Twitch VODs actually have descriptions to them. And I really feel like I should put the descriptions, the, the, the cocktail recipes in those descript VOD descriptions. I never considered that until now. Huh. We improve little by little, more and more, every day. And it's those subtle improvements that bring about premium quality content. Or so that's what we keep on telling ourselves. I can pay, make the, the jelly into these types of things. So what kind of thing? I get acceleration jelly. Oh no, toxic jelly. It's toxic. I like that. I was wondering how to... No, wait, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, I did. All right, that's fine. I don't need that. Do that one. Yes. The red stuff. Oh, it's death solution. Oh. It's not chaos. It's death. Everyone dies eventually. And isn't that a sobering thought? Anna says it's horrifying. I believe- I agree. I don't want to die. Put all this stuff in here. I cannot put that stuff in there. 
Um, hmm. I'm gonna keep the oil in another compartment. I'll keep this stuff over here. Oh, but I need space for that too. Hmm. Where is still the egg at? Where's what? I need the spoons out of it. You need sp spoons? From your still bag. From my still bag? Yeah, I like to use the plastic spoons. Oh, it's in my backpack. She was looking for spoons in the bag that I take to work for lunch. I don't need all the ash in here either. I'll put the ash in another location. But I would like to have all these other, like, special reagents in here. Hmm. Let's see. I can't put them in there. Not enough space. Can I put them over here? I got, I got space over here. I'll put the ash over here and the oil over here, along with all the other ink and stuff. Which one do you use? Epic. Uh, I use the spork. Wait, can I see some of the I want to show the spork. I've never showed the people my spork before. Everybody. This is my spork. I bring the spork into work with me. I like my spork. You should show them the bottom of the spork. I should show them the bottom of the spork. The bottom of the spork has, um... Buzz Buzzy B. It's a Disney character. And we all like Buzzy B. Don't He's we? from like a Donald Duck short. I didn't know about that actually. We should watch that short. We should totally watch that short. Should totally watch that short. We should all watch that short together. Just kidding. We can't. I'd be sued by Disney. I don't want to be sued by Disney. I don't know if they'd Not today. go after you. Maybe they would go after me. I don't know. Duh, oh, yeah, I know. What else is in there? Admittedly, could get sad when the VODs get timed out or whatever happens to them long term. But if you feel real proud of a description, you can transfer it to its YouTube sibling. So basically, what I wind up doing with the cocktail recipes is I will first post them on Discord. Then I will put them in the YouTube video. I, I suppose the order now will be Discord, or Discord, then Twitch, then YouTube. So that anybody who's any anybody who's possibly curious, like, oh my god, how do I make this myself? I don't want to watch the video. Can just find it. Because that's the goal. Easy. Easy as possible. How else are we going to create the next generation of mixologists if not to make things easy for them? It's got to be easy. My whole philo I feel like I have a large... A large portion of my philosophy is that if you want people to do stuff, make it easy for them. Make it easily understood. If something can't be easily explained, then you're probably just not explaining it well enough. And granted, that is a really loaded statement. Because there are some things that some would say can't be easily explained. But once upon a time, somebody told me, they were like, yeah, or maybe I saw it on a video or something, but they were like, if you can't explain quantum physics to your grandmother who doesn't already know about quantum physics, then you don't know quantum physics. And I've taken that to heart. Like, if I can't explain something to somebody who has no idea what it is, then I apparently don't know it well enough. Which then makes me think via, via like, you know, via that train of logic, that if anything can be made easy or intuitive for people, but it requires a really, really great designer or a really, really great engineer or just a really, really great person to be able to figure out how to make it easy for people. For example, the fact that I can swipe on ad infinitum on Instagram or Reddit or TikTok is super freaking easy. That's one of the reasons why it's so damn popular. I can just keep on going, an endless stream of content. How easy is that? Super easy. That's why it works. That's one of the many reasons why it works. So like, if you can, I feel like anything can be done like that. I take that to heart. If something is, if something is difficult to do, then there's gotta be somebody out there. Take this as the inspiration. If something is difficult for you to do, I bet with enough effort, time, and understanding that you'll be able to figure out how to make it easier for literally everybody else. And that's how the world keeps moving into a good direction. Positive, positivity. We can do it, everybody. Basically, actually, I take I take that to heart. I'm, I'm an engineer. My day job is an engineer. I try to make things easier for people. One of the things that I like to do, a side project of mine is my father works for a record company. And so the record company has a bunch of inventory and stuff and deals with a bunch of different like musical artists and whatnot and labels. So he has to do all those Excel spreadsheets by hand. That's pretty freaking difficult to do. And they come in different formats. They're missing columns every once in a while. They're not, they, they, they've got like missing apostrophes and stuff. And so I was like, yo dad, I can totally program something for you to make it easier. And he was like, can you really do that? And so I've been working on that for a little while. It's been a little side project of mine for the Deco Music Co De Deco Music Label. D-E-K-O. My daddy, my daddy helps with that. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. But so that's been kind of like, I, I like that. I continue to do that. One of the reasons why is because I like to help out my dad. I like to help out people in general. But also because like, 
the idea that he once upon a time he and my mother both were both working on this stuff the fact that the both of them have to expend all of this effort just for something that should be literally the click of a button deeply disturbed me i'm like you shouldn't have to be suffering the way that you do let me try to help out and my co and then the program it is completely bug ridden it's constantly like it's it's slow it's annoying it experiences bugs but you know whoever said life isn't a constant work in progress was lying life is a constant work in progress the only thing about life that is for sure is change and being that we're ne we'll never be at that final product we'll always be working in progress and i think that's a good thing because i never want to go grow complacent because that would make me sad complacency makes me sad why would everybody be stuck in one place the world would be such a boring place if things weren't changing all the time and granted easier said than done change can be really really difficult for some people understandable but it should be it should be easier like if there weren't any like of my own personal blocks in the way change advancement should be an easy thing it should be i think i think and maybe maybe you know there's probably some complete competing philosophy there like You'll never truly learn something unless you've struggled with it. Like, yeah, but like, I feel like that should be the exception, not the rule. Like, learning should be fun. Learning shouldn't be torture. Am I going to learn stuff by fearing a bad grade? Sure. But I feel like things are going to stick a lot better in my head if I had, if I enjoyed the assignment, if I enjoyed the, t the, the subject that I was studying. I personally take that, for the, I take that for, the, for pretty much everything. I don't know if I will ever be a teacher, I've, I've, I've considered the life of a professor. I... I don't really want to. Not right now. I'm not really... I don't feel that I am professor material or teacher material right now. But hey, I have no idea what the world may uh, may bring forth for me. So we'll have to see. But um, yeah, that's, that's what I got. Let's put that aside. Actually, let me... Can I equip... I don't know why the wine is equipped. So let's put that on the bottom. My other... I've got my entire array of pumpkins. And I will take them with me. And now, we shall go back down to the depths. It's Snake Day again. I spent an, basically an entire week down there. Oh, wait. Actually, I have materials in my... Excuse me, in my inventory. I should clear that up first. Put the diamonds away. Destroy this crop waste, because I don't need it. Uh, where was I keeping the red wine? I think the red wine was upstairs, perhaps? Did I keep it in here? That would make sense, right? No, I don't have red wine there. Didn't I have red wine? Where did I put the red wine? I have no idea where I put the red wine. Interesting. All this iron ingot. I can do the rest of the silver. Let's put the silver in there. Put the steel away. That away. Graphite away. I've got orange jelly. I'll keep that up here. Let's see. Uh, mm, let's take... I don't need 79 pieces of flour. I really don't. I don't think. Maybe not struggle with it. Struggle with learning, that is, says Lorelai. But making mistakes helps learn a thing. I think so. You know, the limits and rules of whatever it is that, of yourself. Because you've seen what happened when you tried. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like, like, I feel like in, the, in my philosophy at all, that would be like the exception. Like, I mean, I don't think, I, I guess, mistakes I feel like aren't, I don't know if it fits in with the same way, the way that I'm thinking of it. But... Yeah, no, I get that. Making mistakes is absolutely a great way to learn. Like, I feel like you can't learn without making mistakes. And you can have fun while making mistakes. I mean, maybe just, I guess maybe just not call them mistakes. But, like, I feel like, I feel like, what was it, Bob Ross who said, happy little accidents? Like, yeah, happy little accidents. Like, it's not a tr it's not a shrub anymore. It's too big to be a shrub. Let's make it a tree. Whatever. Happy little accident. We made it work. And I think, I like that. I like that view on life. Very good view on life. Positivity liking that anyway i'm gonna put this orange jelly in the chest put that over there uh yeah 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 i still have a bunch of wine in my inventory but alas i'm not gonna worry about that onward to the golden apple that's the gold today the golden apple i am going to find the golden apple or perhaps it will find me who knows who knows all righty then hi sneaky hello sneaky hello sneaky Goodbye, Sniku. I have nothing to talk to you about, Sniku. Down to level 12, Sniku. All right. Slow myself down. And protect myself, I suppose. All right. Let's get a boogie on. Actually, does my sword run out of... No, my sword doesn't have durability. Excellent. 
At least I don't think it does. Hi oh. Hey oh hi. Hey oh. Come at me, fire broski. You're dead now. X. Oh my god, you went right through me. Oh, I'm not taking much damage at all from those guys. Actually, yeah, I'm not taking much at all. That's easy. It's hard to tell it's hard to tell whether I'm losing health or whether the enemy is losing health. It's not incredibly clear. Still get a little confused on that, but that's like that's a very nitpicky thing. Like, I don't think it detracts much. Oh, I can break down this bookshelf. Oh, but I don't have a There we go. Oh my god, hi. No, stop. <laughs> please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy your dungeon. Could you please not hurt me while I do so? Thanks. Really appreciate that. There we go. I just, I wonder where this, this golden apple is. My axe is broken! Oh shit. Oh well, I guess I'll fix that later. Let's go to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Now kick, now kick, now kick, now kick, now walk in by yourself, now walk in by yourself. We'll do the graveyard shuffle. Do the graveyard shuffle. Whoa, I didn't mean to pause the game. Actually, if I pause, does everything stop moving? Interesting. So that guy will continue to to hurt me. Actually, if I stand right in the line of fire... I don't know if I take damage or not. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hello. Oh, hi there. Nope, please. There we go. I don't know. I wonder if I take damage while standing in that. I'm already filled up already. Oh, ruined books. Ruined books are good. I can use that for paper. Pretty sure. Oh my god. Whoops. Big explosion. Not fan. Not a fan of that. Hello. Do it again. Nice. Hello. Oh my god. I thought I killed you. I thought I killed you, you metal monster. You metal monstrosity. In any case. Alright. Nice. Bowls. Bowls are good. I really feel like the apple is going to be at the bottom. I don't know if I like that, though. How much time do I have? I still have four minutes with my my current protection buff. Whoops. Whoopsie. I am too fast for you, you metal thing. If only where there was, like, a bestiary in this game where I could see, like, the names of the enemies if they weren't already obvious. Like, for example, an orange slime. Or the such. Like, I don't know what those, those metal demons are. Maybe they're just metal demons. They're just called metal demons. I'm sure I could Google it, but... I just don't feel like it. Too much effort for today. hi -o. Oh my god, hi everybody. Wow, look at all you. I have no energy now. That was excellent. Just, just all the, uh, just absolutely every single one of the bats just completely coming at me. Wow. Can't break those. I really hope I don't need, like, an axe to find the golden apple. That'd be a little annoying, to be honest. Oh. Copper onion seed. I don't need a copper onion seed. And the Mickey, the wiki could have unmarked spoilers, too. Oh, wouldn't want them to add any spoilers for myself. I did accidentally, while I was searching for stuff on this game, I did accidentally spoil some things for myself. And it must have been some really, really late game spoilers because I still haven't gotten to this, to whatever it is. And it's not like it spoiled too much for me. It's just like, I now know that there is a certain item in this game that I can obtain under certain circumstances, but I don't know yet what those circumstances are. So I have yet to find the, spoil, the spoiled content. So. And I shan't spoil it for anybody else either because eventually... I actually... I don't know if I'll eventually find it. I don't know if it, like, comes with normal gameplay. Like, I wonder if it just have to, like, I wonder if this particular item can never be gotten in the game. It might very well be used for a quest. That I don't know about. But that remains to be seen. But alas. To look up the beasties. Yeah. Look at beasties. I wonder if it may give me, like, the other beasts that are still down in the deeper depths of the dungeon. Goodness, we're still going deeper. Just deeper and deeper and deeper. Deeper into the dungeon. Highly Whoa, look at you! Wow, you're a powerful one, aren't you? What do you drop? You drop more silver and toxic extract. I like silver. I don't need beet seeds. 
Get the beat seeds out of here. Oh, toxic solution. I can make more toxic solution now. I'll take that. So it might have been a secret? Maybe. And you might forget it before I get before I get there. Maybe. I wonder. I have an idea of where to get it. And if my hunch is correct, with enough of doing a certain thing, I will eventually find them. And I think there are perks for increasing the chance of finding whatever this particular thing is. But I don't know what the I don't know what the perk is. I have yet to find it, so eh. Eventually. And also, I have no idea what these particular things are used for, either. Like, I don't know what the benefit of finding this item is. This particular spoiled item. I don't- I don't know what's the use for them. Although, I'm sure- I'm sure it's relevant. I'm sure it has a use that this game probably doesn't explicitly state, because this game isn't that kind of game. Excuse me. It doesn't always lay things out for you, directly. Which I like. That's okay. Oh, I'm losing energy, because I'm tired. Die, everybody. Oh, I'm running low. Uh, I'm gonna lose my protection buff in a little bit. Hmm. You know, I bet I bet the golden apple is at the bottom of the dungeon on a big tree. That's what I'm fantasizing about. A large tree. Complex iron parts, I'd like to keep those. I can get I can get paper from other things, so I'll destroy that. I'll keep that. More diamonds. Who needs to go buy diamonds when I can just get some in the in my basement? But I guess that means there's a certain there's only a certain number of diamonds down here. So once I find all of them, I'm gonna have to buy all the rest. But I don't think I'll get to a point in this game where I'll need to buy a bunch of diamonds. Oh gosh, I only have a little bit of time with all this protection left, so let me use it while I can. And there goes all my protection. Okie dokie. Now I've gotta be a little more careful. Whoops, hi there. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, hi there. Hey, you. Hey, big old, big old rock buoy. Oh my god, it got me. Please don't touch me. <laughs> oh, it dropped blue stuff? It dropped blue stuff. What kind of solution is that? Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. Shucks. Well, I don't need life powder. I'll take this, though. Oh, acceleration solution. I don't think I've figured out how to make acceleration solution yet. That seems new to me. Potentially. <gasps> Onion seeds! Ooh, but what kind of onion seeds? I want to find out. Let's get rid of order powder. I can get more order powder. Yes! Gold onion seeds! I <laughs> require more onions. Got some metal scrap that I can take back with me. I don't need more orange jelly, so I'll just take all the good stuff. <laughs> I love it. Good night. Good night, dearest. See you laters. Okie dokie. Trying to kill all these guys. I really, really, I really do want to get to the bottom of this dungeon today, and I think I can do it. I definitely think that I can get to the bottom of the dungeon and complete uh, Snake's mission thing. I definitely missed some monsters here. If I didn't miss monsters, I'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I definitely missed some monsters. I gotta go back. Gotta retrace my steps. I also love, I just noticed that I still have that slowing effect on me, so it seems that Stat, like certain effects like from the food and whatnot can just stack over and over and over again which is actually pretty cool like that's really convenient that's a good thing that's acceleration oh there's a little corridor over here that i can do good night anna best of luck with everything says lorelei good night dearest from all of us to you be well i will be there soon ish pending the completion of this next goal I really was, like, I, I've gotten to a point where, like, I'm trying to, like, kind of plan ahead of time what the heck I'm going to be doing on stream, and at least try to have some, like, vague goals in mind, and the goal, I am going to make it to the bottom of the dungeon today. I don't know exactly how long it'll take, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll find the golden apple along the way, although that might be a little, that might be a, a, a tougher order. For all I know, it could be in, like, some unmarked container that I just, I just haven't gotten to yet, in which case, annoying, but valid. I guess. What else is over here? Spider dude. Spooter dude. Some slimes. Spooter dude. Excellent. Slime dudes. Easy. Easy. Like, for all I know, it's in one of these these vases over here. or one of the containers. And I'll be like, oh, missed the golden apple somewhere along the way. I guess I'm going to go back and look at every single one of them. 
It's very nice of the game, though, to show a slow metabolism as having its own positives. Yeah, since high metabolisms tend to get highlighted much, much more. Yeah, people have been like, I have a high metabolism. I can eat whatever I want to and not get fat. Like, I have a slow metabolism. Like, things that go into my body that are, let's say, intended to keep me well. Like, for example, pills or ibuprofen and stuff like that. It'll work slower because you have a slower metabolism, which means, like, your symptoms will last less long or be last a shorter amount of time. Which, like, it has its benefits. Everybody is everybody. Every unique is very body. Every unique is very person. Words. We can just be us. Everybody, every, every body has got its benefits. Everybody's got its benefits. Everybody have benefits. Well, I pretty much ate all of my consumables to get down here, so I'm gonna need to stock back up. Go back up to the surface. It's also, oh, it's the end of Inquisitor Day, so I missed the opportunity to have lunchtime with the ones who burn witches. A little farther downward. I don't remember what level I'm on. What level am I on? I am on level 14. There are two more floors left. Yes. But I need more health potions. I need more protection potions. And I need more pumpkins. And unfortunately, it's not like I can make a lot of them up here. Oh, you know what I should do? I mm, How many carrots do I have? I don't know if I have a lot of carrots. I have a lot of shit in my inventory. Oh my god. Got all the rest of the silver. Uh, it's still going more silver. Gotcha. Put the silver in there. I have so much silver, my god. I don't know what to do all of this. All this stuff. Put the scrap in there. Complex iron parts in there. Not the diamonds. The diamonds go downstairs. We're almost done with this last piece of silver over here, so I'll wait until that finishes for the last moment, and I'll add more silver to the brew. Add more silver to the brew. And I have an even amount of silver this time. Plenty of silver for plenty of good things. Um, I have this axe that I should be able to put back up. Work, work, work. I'm running out of energy. Good thing that I have these pumpkins. Got my axe back. Finally. I can break more stuff in the basement. Put some of these seeds down here and harvest. Like this pumpkin. I am collecting the pumpkins. I am collecting the pumpkins. That's good. I can add more onions to the, gr to the, to the ground. That's great. More onions, more fun. Or some would, as some would say. More... Yep, more onions. Good stuff. More pumpkins. And yeah, things are coming along. Things are coming along swimmingly. Now, I think the things that I was packaging up for the boxes were definitely... I was definitely packaging up silver onions and silver pumpkins. So, that's a thing that I'll do eventually. I'm going to harvest this wheat here and replace it with onions. Because I'd rather focus on the onions if I can. Gold star onions. And I'll put this other stuff in the chest. Put that there. Um, put the wheat seed there. Don't need that. Cool. Everything else goes back. I don't know where my other wine went. I'm pretty sure I had wine somewhere. And I have no idea where I put it. But whatever. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I have absolute faith in myself that I will eventually find my misplaced, my misplaced wine. Oh, just kidding. I found my misplaced wine. It's in the chest over here. <laughs> nice. Speak of the devil. And he shall appear. What don't I need in this chest? I don't, I don't need wheat. I don't need wheat. Just get rid of it. Put the, put the wine in here. Eventually it'll be merchant day. It's not today, but eventually it'll be a-okay. Uh, and all this other stuff goes into the punishment. The diamond goes down here. The onions should go back upstairs. I don't know why they brought, I brought them down with me. Don't, not like that. There we go. Bring it down here and we'll do some research. Do some research while you're at it. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a bit low on energy. I'm gonna actually, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna have to go up and do that stuff first. Plenty of bat wings. Plenty of bat wings. Black slime. Black jelly. I am now full up on black jelly. I don't need any more of it. Not for now. And I'm full up on spider webs. Don't need any more of it. Full up on orange jelly. Don't need any more of it. And I've got all this other stuff, so I will put it in its rightful place. Excellent. Acceleration solution. I don't have space for that yet. Toxic powder, electric powder. I haven't researched this yet. 
Probably haven't researched toxic extract either. What other things can I research? You! Research! Work, 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 work. Wonderful. That got me some points. Acceleration solution? Easy research! Oh, well, but I'm out of energy, so I guess I'll go upstairs, rest, come back down, and continue my studies on... It's moon day. It's, it's still moon day. So it will remain moon day. Ad infinitum. Moon day, moon day, forevermore. Moon day, moon day, all the time. But first, of course, more pumpkins. More baked pumpkins. Who knew that eating was as easy as putting a pumpkin in a furnace? I would have never known otherwise. I am very refreshed today. Even more so refreshed than I usually am. Why? Because it's Wednesday. But it's always Wednesday. Don't worry about it. Child, don't talk back to me. Nah, don't hit your children. Actually, Anna and I have been watching an anime called Mishoko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation, where one of our characters is like, will like literally kill you if you harm a child, which makes sense. This dude's like, dude, anybody who like, some dude kicked a child. And this dude was, this other guy was like, I'm chopping your head off. It was actually quite insane. Granted, you shouldn't be kicking children. Don't kick children. However, I don't know if it's, that should be, I don't know if that's punishable by death. Actually, well, don't hurt children. I was going to say to the extent of the hurt, don't hurt children. You're a shitty person if you hurt children. That's bad. I don't have very strong opinions on some things, but that's a strong opinion. That's just nasty. That's bad. That's naughty naughty. I guess unless the child hurts you first, in which case, maybe find their parents? Contact somebody else? Find somebody who has a proper authority over the child and allow them to discipline. But you, uh, need, you need not take matters into your own hands unless you are the disciplinarian, in which case, I really don't think you should put your hand on the children. Don't put your hands on anybody. Not in that way. That just hurts. It makes me ouchy. If you were to smack me right now, it'd be ouch. Except when I slap myself. That's not super ouchy. Although, depends on how hard I hit. I need green solution. Which solution is that? Health solution. How done what get health solution? I think the maggots do health solution. Let's see. Maggots do health solution? No, they do the yellow ones. Life solution. What about heck up grass? You, yep, that's the one. Perfect. And this will allow me to create more uh, health potions. The health potions will allow me to heal. I need to make more um, protection potions, which require quite a few things. Uh, that might be a little harder to, to actually grab, because I think that required a lot of stuff. Stuff that I don't readily have right now. Let's see. Put the toxic extract in there. Acceleration solution, health solution, health solution. Oh, can't put the health solution in there because I need to take some things out. So I'll take out white powder. Oh, I don't have space for either of that stuff. Okay, um, and spices. I don't actually think I can use spices for anything. So uh, I'm just gonna, gonna trash the spices. I don't need those spices. I'll, I'll do something else with them. I was researching this. I completed a study of that. I'll put white powder over here. I think the acceleration solution is back in my inventory. No, it's not. Okay, cool. What else can I research? I got plenty of space for research, so let's research. We'll just get more points. It's always good to have more points. Let's put it back. Got, got one of those death extracts. Excellent. And what else? There was one other thing, I'm pretty sure. Ah, yes. Death solution. The solution is death. <laughs> No. Oh, that gave me a couple of blue points. I like that. I like it when we got to points. And let's put everything back. Okie dokie. Got some health potions. Gonna try to make more health potion by doing this. Just gonna make all the health potion I can. This should probably be enough to get me through the rest of the, um, the rest of the dungeon. Or at least I hope. I could be wrong about that. One never knows. The world may never know. Gonna eat some pumpkin. 
eat my pumpkin, which will give me more energy to create more health potions, which will be good. What else do I need? Protection potion, I require more slowing solution and slowing extract. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of time. I need slowing... Well, actually, I think the cobwebs work over here, right? Cobwebs? Yeah, I can put cobwebs in there. So I'll put cobwebs in, which will create some slowing solution. And then I need slowing paste. I don't know why I keep calling it paste. I don't think it is paste. I wonder if there was something else that caused that. What else can I get? Slowing goo. Do I have any slowing goo? Slow goo? Slow goo? Do I have any slowing goo? I don't... Oh, I do have some slowing goo. Goo. Sweet. Got some slowing stuff from it. Sweet. Nice. It's hard to paint life with large brushes. Like, if a kid hurts you, you're still responsible to be better than that because determining if harm is excusable can be complicated. Yeah. I like that phrase that you used. It's hard to paint life with large brushes. That's a good one. I totally, like, I totally understand what you're saying. It's like, uh, like, it's hard to make rules that cover everything. It's hard to make, like, this is how it is, always, all the time. Like, large brushes, as opposed to, like, the tiny brushes. I'm a, I'm a tiny brush kind of person. I like to do fine details if I can. But yeah, life is complicated. Life is full of complexities. But some would say that's what makes life even more grand. But we'll see. I require a more slowing solution, which means I need more beeswax. But I actually don't need much of this protection stuff. It actually stays for quite a while. So I think I'm just going to use what I can of this other extract, which should be uh, finishing up in a little bit. Um, it's not all of it, but I won't be able to make all of it. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, I need one more. So I got to wait for this guy. Waiting a little bit longer. I've still got a couple of more tiny blue pills. Little blue Valium cocktail. Pulled out from my little bartender's black book. I like that book. I like the fact that I got all these books. I like the fact that, actually, as I was going through and kind of revamping and replaylisting a bunch of the videos on YouTube, I was finding, like, I finally have, like, uh, like, a reason like i have all these recipes that i can go back to and they're all like out in descriptions and stuff like that and i realized previously like i realized you can do chapters on youtube where you can like segment up the videos and i actually went through and i watched pretty much all the cocktail stuff because i was trying to determine when in the video is cocktail time so it's easy to be able to index and navigate and so that was pretty cool to be able to go through all that stuff yo it's lord's day <laughs> it's time to go pray <laughs> i'll do a prayer myself uh Casual. Uh, this one. Decent. This prayer. This prayer from me and the peoples. Ah, oh, all my stuff is out. Ah, oh, all of my candles have gone out. But that's okay. I'm not worried about it. It's time to pray. Time to praise the Lord our God. With the power of fire. Nah, I don't need that. I have nothing proper to burn here. Nothing that I can safely burn at my desk. Although I can heat up a Kit Kat. Although I don't know if I want to put fire on the, the, the chocolate. I have some snacks at my desk in case I get hungry. This is a dark chocolate Kit Kat. Gotta love that. Oh my god. That's what I get for not splitting the Kit Kat first, apparently. Apologies for my chewing. That was a lot of faith. That was like a lot of faith. Wow, nice. All right, cool. So I got that over and done with. Got some protection solution. Got some pumpkin. Gonna go grab some more pumpkin. Gonna rest up for the day. And then hopefully finish off the dungeon and finish off Snake. Hopefully. I wanna get the, um, I think I need, I need the Book of Infinity from him. And I wanna say... That'll be the first end game item that I get. And I believe there's six of them. So that's one out of six. I'm, I would be a sixth of the way done with completing the game. And by completing the game, I, I think, I think completing the game is going through the portal. So that's, that's what I imagine it is. And I wonder what happens afterwards. Like, cause I know, I know that there are some, there's some DLC to this game that I don't know if I've, I don't know if I need to purchase it separately or not, but, but either way, I know there's DLC, 
and I don't know whether or not you can participate in the DLC after you complete the main game, or, or you have to do it before you complete the main game. I don't exactly know. I'm rather, I'm rather unsure. I don't really know. Um, and I guess that's something that I'll eventually figure out. If I make it all the way to the end of the game and it's just like, game over, that's it, then it'll be like, oh my god. I suppose what'll probably happen is I'll make my way through the portal, which I believe is end game, and it'll be like, oh, but you're gonna be sent back to the world of the graveyard keeper anyway, so you can keep playing and not, you know, not like delete your saver or anything. All right, there we go. Whoop! Hi there. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Wow. Our basement freeloader will have finally paid you some worthwhile dues. Yeah. He's just been laying in my basement this whole time, just like freeloading. He's like, man, you know what would be a really good place for like a satanic ritual ground? This dude's, the graveyard keeper's basement, who totally doesn't mind that I'm here. Totally. Hey yo. Both of you explodes. I love that those things just kind of like chase you and then kablooey. Hey yo. Oh. Now at this point, I am like, I'm too far into the dungeon for it not for like the golden apple not to be at the bottom like if the golden apple were on this floor i'd be surprised i'd be like really really surprised actually what i am expecting and what i just thought of now i bet i wonder if there's like a boss at the end of the at the end of the dungeon like i feel like there must be there must be like some super duper strong enemy at the bottom because that feels like dungeon style but the, the fact that there hasn't been like bosses so far i guess it doesn't really free that up as a like too, like, it wouldn't be too crazy if there isn't a boss down there. I wouldn't be too too super duper surprised if there wasn't. But I look forward to it. I look forward to finding out. Let's see, needs some more. Whoops. Die, everybody. Gosh. With your portal theory, maybe you'd make a long distance thing work. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll be like, like, a, maybe like I'll astral project into this world when I sleep at night. And I continue to have, um, I continue to do things like that. Uh, did the work out with the wife, uh, with your portal theory, maybe to get a long distance thing to work out with your wife or trying to get back to, or if she'd be okay with moving there as like, like a Stardew Spouts. Ooh, I wonder if I can bring my wife back with me. We'll be graveyard keepers together. Not just graveyard keeper, graveyard keepers. That'd be interesting. Keepers focus on her way uh, is why I hope we can get a happy ending here. I certainly hope so, too. I honestly have no idea if this is, like, a, you know, your choices matter type game. Like, I don't know if there is, like, multiple endings. There might be. The, the fact that there's... Let's see. If DLC... This is what I think. If DLC can be accessed before you get to the portal, it probably opens up different endings for you. Probably. Otherwise... Or, it, or maybe not. You know, maybe they just don't have that. I don't know. One way to find out. This is due to the DLC. But honestly, I know there's two DLC for this game. I think one's called a Game of Crone. And the other one, I honestly don't know anything. I don't know what it's about. But, like, I, I genuinely don't know, like, much about how to even access, like, the DLC at all. Oh, hi there, everybody. Everybody dies now. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Everybody dies sometime. There are so many monsters down here. Makes sense. Oh, God. I am losing so much energy. I might actually have to go back up. Stop that. Seriously. <laughs> Enough. I may actually have to go back up. Because I'm running out of things that'll give me energy. Wow. That's crazy. I don't need that. I want the slowing solution. I'd rather take that. Oh, and the silver. I don't need life powder. Goodness. I'll keep that. These, uh, these dungeon areas are getting really, really big. I need more than just pumpkins. I, I need something... I need... Something that'll restore my stamina better than... I mean, the, the pumpkin stores it really well. They just... It's not quick to make. So therefore, it makes it inconvenient. Oh, hi there, little guy. Little spider. Hello, all you slimes! You don't spit... You don't scare me at all. Can't go down, right? Figures. Yeah, there's definitely... There's gotta be more enemies around here. No way that there isn't. There are so many corridors that I've yet to get to. You know, I wonder. I wonder if Floor 15 even has enemies. Maybe this is, like, the last enemy location. That'd be cool. Perhaps Floor 15 is, like, smooth sailing from there. That'd be pretty awesome, to be honest. I'm just saying, Graveyard Keeper, if that is the case, I am totally down with that. 
totally down with that. Totally okay if that's the route you didn't want to go. Hi there. Don't hurt me. Oh, hello, everybody. Wow, okay. All right, come after me. Whoops. Oh my god. Can I, like, oscillate like that? It's kind of, it's it sucks how, like, the one will go after, and then I run away, and then as soon as I go in to slay the one, it uh, the other one comes in and tries to duke it out himself. Okay. Oh, dear. Excellent. Gotta kill these guys off. Really depends on the nature of the DLC in terms of whether it's going to provide, like, a different ending or not, I suppose. Like, Hollow Knight had both types of, like, independent side stories or a means to get new endings. Ooh! That's exciting. I like the sound of that. I don't know what kind of, like, full playthrough I'll wind up doing of Hollow Knight either. Like, I usually... I don't try to, like... I'm not the kind of person who's, like... I don't really, like... I don't 100% games, usually. Although, I have on occasion attempted to, like, achievement hunt and stuff like that. And I've done it before. Um, I think really the only game that I've ever fully completed, I want to say, was Sonic Generations. Although, apparently, there's no record of me doing that. I'm pretty sure I got all the achievements for it, but it wasn't on Steam. It was on Xbox, but I can't... I, I tried to look at the achievements, and I don't think the achievements tracked to the correct... I, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't know for sure. I don't think it shows up as a completed game on my uh, Xbox account. Sad boy. Sad boy time. But alas... Oh my god, wait a minute. There's another... Oh, that was the way I came in. I didn't realize that. I'm not... Wait, floor 15 is already opened? Oh, is that floor 15? Wait a minute, what? I didn't realize floor 15 was open. Did I open the door to floor 15? Did I miscount? Oh my god, I totally did... I totally skipped to level 15. Interesting. All right, I'm totally down with that. I am totally cool with that. Alrighty then. All right, I have a couple seconds left of this thing. I'm gonna use it. I had a couple. Oh my god, I died. Uh oh. It's okay. Death happens to the best of us. I've died. I needed to go back up to the surface anyway. It happens. Did I lose like money or anything? I forget. Do you lose anything when you die? I don't remember. Oopsie. Well, that's okay, because that just gives me a chance to, to kind of re resupply on things, because I definitely needed a bit of a resupply, so I'll take this as a good sign. I'll throw my I'll throw the seeds away. I'm just gonna throw bowls in here. Actually, I'm gonna destroy the bowls. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need the cobwebs. Don't need those. Um, bat wings are useful for paper, so I'll keep that. Um, but let's let's harvest everything else. Might as well. I need all the gold star onions for spe super special burgers. And everything else is mostly just for currency and stuff. If I sell enough packages, if I sell enough stuff, then hopefully I'll be able to be the aristocrat I always knew that I could. I'll be the farming aristocrat. I'll be the guy who made all of his money by farming. And then I'll be like, there's no way that you did that. How do you make money off of farming? And I'll be like, oh, where there's a will, there is a way, my child. Just believe. Just believe in the you that believes in the farmers of society. Then all your dreams will come true. Maybe. Honestly, if everybody's well fed, then all of our dreams will come true. Oh, I just noticed I was growing onions over here and I did not even realize that I was. Wow. So many different onions. So many onions to choose from. There's onions, there's bunions, there's lunions, there's funions. I like funions. Yeah. I can go for a nice salty snack right about now. But no. I shall restrain myself. We're so close to the end. Take all this stuff. Let's put all the... Oh, I actually didn't have a lot of silver ingot this time. I got plenty of gold ingot, though. So I'll use... I don't have enough. I don't have enough fire in there. So I'm just going to put all the gold ingot in here. Oh, I need to use some of that. Um... I'm just going to take these wooden sticks out, destroy these ones, put them back along with the gold. Was there any other, like, parts and whatnot? Nah, I don't. Not really. Oh, I got metal scrap. I'll throw the metal scrap in there. Oh, there's too much metal scrap. Are you almost done? Nah, you're not done. I'll scrap this. Don't need that. Stuff to go downstairs. Stuff to make pumpkins out of. I love pumpkins. The quicker thing that I could probably do is over here 
but what's easily to do on this table? There really, there's nothing really like super duper easy. I don't have a lot of meat for like sandwiches and stuff, but I, I don't know. I'll just keep with the, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'll just keep with the pumpkins for now. Keep on keeping on with the pumpkins. Onions, onions, pumpkins. Mm, and I got some stuff for downstairs, so I'll go down, uh, actually, mm, yeah, I'll put that downstairs first. I don't think there was anything for over here, right? Alchemy, 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 alchemy. It's all for the, all for the area of underneath the church. So close, though. Actually, if I do this quickly enough, no. Snake Day is tomorrow. So if I do it quickly enough, I should be able to complete this in a very timely manner. By seeing Snake as soon as I possibly can. We shall see. Put it in there, put it in there. Ah, oh, we got the bat wings. Slowing solution. Actually, if I have more slowing solution, can I make more protection potions? I totally can. I can make another. I like that. Awesome. Useful. If only, I wonder if there was a stamina potion that I could have made. I wonder. Does it? Speed potion increases my speed. Yeah, none of that. If there was anything, if there was some sort of, maybe eventually I'll discover that. I don't know how much use it'll be of me later on, but maybe I'll discover it. In which case, it'll be useful for whatever Cameron winds up playing it. Whichever Cameron. I don't need all this hemp. Let's destroy some of this hemp. I was stockpiling a bunch of things, and I realized that I don't need to. There we go. Make some space. Make some space for everybody else. I'll put the uh, put the bat wings in here, too. Oh, I already had space for the bat wings. Eh, whatever. Is there anything else I can eat? I can eat, like... I can eat, like, mushrooms and stuff, which will give me some stamina, but it won't give me too much. I have, like, berries and stuff. I'll, I'll carry the berries with me. I think, can I drink berry juice? Can I drink berry juice? Can I drink berry juice? Bottle of berry ferment, I can do. Pail of berry juice, I can take these berries. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't think, I, I think I should stick with the pumpkins. For now. There might be others. What, actually, what else is there? You make dough, you make sauerkraut, burgers, berry juice. You know what? Berry juice. Let's just bake some berry juice. I got the time for it. Berry juice is probably useful for some things. And I will speak. give myself a little bit of a rest, get myself ready for the next part of the dungeon, which will be wonderful. Oh! Stretch my arms a little bit. Oh. I sit all day. I really, I, that just made me think of, sometimes I'll be talking to people and I, I'll be talking to them, they'll stand up and they'll be like, oh, please, please take a seat. And I'm like, no, please allow me to stand. Because I, for the most part, I stand all day. Or I, I sit all day. I sit all day at work because I'm on my computer doing my firmware program stuff. And I sit here and I do my streams. Although sometimes I'm over there at the bar, in which case I stand and I am more than happy to stand. I have no qualms with standing. Totally okay with that. Berry juice. Berry juice can be used for... What can berry juice be used for? Oh, red jelly, if I had more green slime. But I don't have green slime. Oh. Guess I need more green slime. Huh. Alrighty then. Well, um, what else do I have space for? Oh, I have beeswax up here. Oh, I should bring that downstairs, because the beeswax I can use for slowing solution. I'll go downstairs and put that in a container, and then... I'll go back up. The pumpkin should be done. I'll cook the meat, because if I cook the meat, it'll stack with already the cooked meat. And then and then I'll make some make some jellies. I'll make some jelly stuff for myself. It'd be good. It'd be nice to taste of jelly. Oh, it's getting dark. I don't know if I'll be able to make it before um, Snake does his thing. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. We'll cook up the... Cook up two baked meat. And now I can put this berry juice in here. And that's good. And now I'll go down to the dungeon so that we can continue fighting. Fighting the enemies on floor 15. Actually, well, this is... I never actually finished floor 14. I don't know why I was able to get the 15. Like, I swear that the door said... Oh, maybe I actually killed all the enemies. It's possible that the reason I can warp down is because I killed all the enemies on floor 14. Which I didn't realize that I did. That was an accident. But a happy accident. A happy little accident. There we go. We're all Bob Ross now. Love that. All right, all you enemies. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I died down here. I guess there really isn't much of a... 
consequence to dying. Or maybe there is, and I just didn't notice yet. Maybe I lost gold. I, I wonder if I lost any money. That'd be truly unfortunate. Any more strong enemies trying to completely and utterly screw me up? Makes sense. Makes sense if you would. I'd want to screw me up too. I am the protagonist. And what better thing for you to do as an enemy, an antagonist, than to completely harass the protagonist? I don't know what else. If you have any other goal, I want to know what it is. Okay, hi everybody. Hey, you. Yep, hi there. But I'm super protected. I'm just fine. The only thing I don't have to worry about is, yet again, the amount of energy that I have. Which is already running low. But I have 12 Silver Star Baked Pumpkins. Chaos Powder. I don't need the Bat Wings. That's fine. I wonder, like... Come to think of it, where would the Golden Apple be? I don't know if there is, like... There's no Floor 16 or whatever. Oh, don't hurt me. I wonder... I suppose the answer will become clear soon enough. Oh, that was the wrong button. I clicked the wrong item. I did not want to consume the healing potion. I wanted to consume another piece of pumpkin. Diamonds! I found a diamond, yeah. But this isn't Minecraft. Not today. Although, in my Minecraft mod pack, I can find a lot of diamonds because they spawn just like regular ore veins. So if I know where one diamond is, I pretty much know where all of them are. Hi, 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 hi. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in this direction, there's got to be more enemies. I, I mean, I wonder if like maybe the, the dungeon lords will be like, you've killed all the enemies. I will grant you this golden apple as reward. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my God, another one of those things. None of them, one of those colossal beasts. No, please die. Please die. There we go. Okay, cool. Need more of this. Oh my god. Hey, yo. Stop. Stop trying to run away from me. So sad. I understand that you don't want your petty life to, to cease, but sometimes you just need it. Alright, that wasn't too difficult at all. See, when I have my protection spell on, I'm totally fine. Oh, it dropped gold. I like that. I already have a lot of gold. I don't need that. And I don't need order powder. I'll pick up these things. Sweet. Hmm. Antagonist who doesn't recognize they keep crossing paths with the protag because they have the same goal and antag just doesn't recognize them? Hmm. Seems like a seems like a plot of a show. Or it should be a plot of a show. What are you saying, protagonist Chan? You don't recognize me? Why don't you notice me? A a antagonist, I. I, I, protagonist, all I wanted you to do was notice me. That's why I became the antagonist. All I wanted was to be noticed. Oh my god, Protag Chan noticed me. <laughs> oh my god. Whoops. Don't do that. Need more energy. Dungeon Lord turns out for the fairest tier means for the greatest kicker of ass. Nice job. Now enjoy a jealous snake or whatever. <laughs> He's just like, why didn't you get? Why didn't I get the apple? I want the apple for myself. All right, you are doing that thing. Nice, excellent, excellently dead. Excellently pulverized. Very good move, very good move. Good on that. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, they're breaking all the stuff. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, sweet. That was, that was excellent. Oh, but there's still many enemies to find down here. But honestly, not as much as it could have been. And I'm okay, we're great. I want to collect these other extracts. I, I I like the extracts. Extracts are good. The powders I feel like are easy to get. We'll destroy that. We'll grab some of that. And more extract. Let's, um... Death powder I feel like easier to get than tex toxic powder, so... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit farther. Maybe I, like, cut down the... Oh, look! That answers my question. Look at that. I found the golden apple tree. I found it. And so, I will pick from the golden apple tree with space in my inventory, I'm sure. Uh, don't need the spider web. And get the single golden apple. Yay! Can I research this? Can I research the golden apple? I cannot. Back to the surface, and it's snake time! Oh my god, yes! Oh, but that only increases it by 10? Is there more? Give it to me. I'll just lick it. I don't want to have too much knowledge. You want to lick too? Oh! I did it! Sure, I'll lick it. 
Ah, now I understand what the last line of the ritual was about. The final ingredient. I finally know what the heart of the ancient curse is. I need a dark heart. A dark heart? Oh. Where can we get one? Hmm. It's connected to the ancient curse somehow. The last living specialist is in, in the in Inquisition cell right now. Oh, seriously? Just get close to the Lord Inquisitor. Try to find out more about it. I found it! That one thing that I spoiled for myself, it was this dark heart. <laughs> I apparently needed to find it, and now I will figure out how to. It's actually, it's close enough to Inquisition Day, and I can make some more burgers, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for that. Maybe. Maybe. My god. Tree, how did you survive that? I have no idea. St <laughs> Snake just licked the skin of the apple. Oh my god. Okay, well, Inquisition Day is tomorrow, so I will... I will try... I will try to give the, the Inquisitor the burgers that he needs, which I should be able to do. I should be able to give him all the burgers he needs. I think he only needs five. And that should be good. And I'll put everything else out down here. This is exciting. And then I'll just wait until the next time that I see Snakeu. Oh, but I need bodies. I, I need to get the dark hearts from the bodies. And so I need bodies. Okay, that'll be a little more little more difficult okay so i need time for bodies which means i need carrots all right we'll get this we'll get this i i have faith i have faith that i think we'll be able to get through it so i think we can put the toxic powder away trying to sort all my trying to sort all the reagents that i have quickly as i can make my way up the other way i found pumpkins down there did i really huh epic epic gamer move dude epic gamer move do i have any bodies down here already that might be blocking up my morgue because if that's the case, I really need to do something about it. Hi, everybody. Okay, you don't have a heart. You don't have a heart. Oh, you have a heart. Do you have a heart? You do have a heart. All right, so everybody's got hearts. I'm inclined to think that the hearts can stay until I figure out how to rip them out properly. So we'll see. Because I want to say, from what I read, and I, don't, I guess it's not spoiler at this point because I kind of needed to know how to do it anyway. So, whoop. I think... After you figure out how to find dark hearts, there's a chance for any heart that you get to become a dark heart when you remove it from the body. I think. Maybe. I have to double check on that. We'll see. If I if I can get, like, a dark heart within, like, the next half hour, then we'll go for it. But if I can't, then we'll just save it for next time. But I am feeling very, very determined. And I think, I think it can be possible. Oh, we got enough for another burger. We just need a gold star onion. And time to sleep. Let's put the pumpkin in there. Pumpkin. I have metal stuff outside. I'll take care of the metal stuff outside. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Not even full apple juice of the gods. Nope, he just straight up just licked the skin. So apparently the oil is on the outside of the apple. If there's even much oil on the outside of the apple. I actually don't like... Because I know like orange peel has a bunch of oils in it. But I don't think apple skin has a lot of... I don't know if that has a lot of like value to it. Wake up. Wake up, I say. Wake up. I love how there was just a tree in the middle, in the bottom of the dungeon. I love that. All right. I have, I think, enough burgers for what the Inquisitor might need. I hope. If not, then we're going to end it there. And I'll make more burgers another time. But we shall see. All right. I need more fuel from coal. So we'll do that. And see if I have enough fuel to... The rest of the silver? The rest of the silver. I'll put the rest of the gold in here. I think I have enough space for uh, some of it. All right, fine. Um, hmm. How will I manage my items now? Oh, I don't even have enough space for all that stuff. Well, I don't need wooden sticks and I don't need flitches. So I'll put the metal scrap in there and the nuggets in there. And I will get rid of the dowels. The wooden sticks, I can always make more. Flitches, I can just make more. Put that in there. I have clean paper. Don't know where I got clean paper from, but alas... Oh, I need space for more gold nuggets. Wow. Wow, I have a lot of materials in here. Um, let's get rid of the nails. Eventually, I'll be able to do all of that. But in, the, in in this small term, we're making do with what we got. Trying to get, trying to do some things. All right, so it's almost Inquisition Day. All right, let's meditate. Let's meditate on that thought. Dream of gold star burgers. That's what we'll dream of. I'm dreaming of the burgers. Dreaming of the gold star burgers. Yes, we are. Yes, indeed. And eventually we will find it. 
and it is almost Inquisition Day. I will wake up, and we will have the best feast. It'll be the best feast you've ever seen. You're never, you're not even going to see a better feast than this ever in your life. I promise. I promise you won't. I also think I just noticed that meditating passes the time along, but it also, like, it counts towards, like, things that are being done. So I think crops grow faster if I just meditate. That's what it seemed like, at least. How did I have many carrots growing? Why don't I have any carrots growing? Where, where are all my carrots? Do I have many carrots? Not really. Was I selling my carrots? Where are all my carrots at? I should probably... Oh, now that I'm down here, I should, you know, plant all the rest of this... Um, pick up all the rest of the stuff. Um, hopefully... And not forget to talk to the Inquisitor, because I very well could, could do that. I am not going to forget. I'm not going to forget about that. I certainly will not. I will try not to. All right, but I got all this stuff. Kind of peed everything back up. And plant, pee, plant. Oh, I think I may run low on my pumpkin seeds. I don't. I won't have enough to completely fill up on my stuff again. Nope, I won't. I got. I got stuff for the other ones. A little bit of sad boy time, but eh, that's okay. Crop waste in there. Put the seed in there. Seed in there, and we'll bring back everything up over here because they may, may have more carrots up in my homestead. Which, I'd, I'd hope I do. I hope so. Do I have more carrots? I do not. Okay, I am completely low on carrots. Interesting. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, up to the... Up to Witch Hill. Up to Witch Hill to go talk to my buddy, the Inquisitor. Inquisitor. And I want to say all I needed were the burgers. I think you can also do beer as well. Or maybe you needed... Maybe you needed burgers and beer. I'm crossing my fingers that it's one or the other. Cause I kinda cause I kinda wanna get through that. I've been waiting on this one for a while now. <laughs> this one I've got been kind of been putting off because I needed to go into the dungeon to find more gold star onions because nobody sells gold star onion seeds. It's like really? Alright. Serve the burgers. Oh, do I also need the beer too? I serve the burgers. What what now? So I talk to the dude? Take the eternal coal. I can't yet. Uh. All right. So I serve the burgers. So now what happens? Do I need just need beer? I need gold star beer. I need to make beer too. Oh man. Seriously. Well, um. I don't know what else becomes of that. <laughs> I thought I'd just put the burgers down and everyone would be like, "Oh yeah." Time to, time to eat. But I guess not. Let's see, let's see. Inquisitor doesn't have any goals right now. I can just, just serve burgers. That's it. Is that really it? Do I have to like click a button or something to serve the burgers successfully? Buffet, serve the burgers. Information. Yeah, yeah okay. Um. Huh. I can't talk to the guards either. They don't seem to be interested. Yeah, these five folks are very picky, apparently. Look at that. Alrighty, then. Well, I thought it was going to be as easy as putting burgers on a barrel, but apparently it wasn't as easy. So I suppose next time we'll get into beer making because I need to make gold star beer in order to get the dark heart stuff. So I guess... I guess that's what we'll do. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll harvest the rest of this grape seed over here and all my grapes and stuff. I'll bring it back down and then I'll, I think that'll be, I think that'll be that. I guess that'll be that for the day. Wow, interesting. Every single time I think, like, I've done it, this, this game's just like, uh, 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 no, you haven't. And I'm like, oh, you. Oh, you, graveyard keeper. You, you so do your thing. <laughs> Turns out the barrel needed to be a keg. Ugh, who knew? Couldn't have, could have fooled me. Definitely could have fooled me. <laughs> Good, goodness gracious. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that they probably, like, I, you probably need the beer and the burgers. That, that seems most likely. Unless, like, the end of the day comes and then something happens? Like, I, I don't know. I have, I have no idea. I am currently unsure. But, alas. I got a lot of gold, uh, gold grapeseed. That's really good. Got it. 
All right, well, time to get ourselves back home, and that's that's where we're gonna do it. That's that's where we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it for the day. This was lovely. As per the usual, I genuinely have a wonderful time when everybody is around here. So thank you, everybody, for coming along and enjoying this with me. I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate it indeed. And by the way, I noticed yesterday, I noticed on Monday, that everything was backwards. I fixed it. Everything's right now. Now you can read things that I write on paper. And I love you. And also, I should apparently play um, Sakuna of Rice and Run. Or Sakura of Rice and Run. That sounds fun. Anyway, Goalpost Keeper is terrible at their job. Look at how those fellows move. Oh, my goodness gracious, indeed. In any case, thank you, everybody. It was absolutely wonderful this time around. It's been great. It's been lovely. And so for everybody out there, I hope your night is wonderful if it's the night where you are. I hope it's the, uh, if, if it's the morning, then I hope you have a wonderful morning. And if it's the afternoon, then my goodness, it better be a damn well good afternoon for you because the party must continue wherever we are. And for that, I thank thee all. Have a wonderful one. Bye, y'all.